Yeah, I'm here. Tomato forgot to ping the Discord, LOL. LMAO. Are you stupid? Are you dumb? Are you an idiot? Are you a fool? Shut up, moron. Shut up now. What are you, some kind of nincompoop? The, literally, the pings are the only way anyone ever knows I'm streaming because it's not like Twitch tells anyone, okay? It's not like the Twitch notifications have ever done anyone anything. So we both know that's not true. You'd be told in two hours when I'm live. You sound so much crustier, man. Well, that's because I didn't spend like an hour today like talking before stream. Usually I'm like doing stuff in the morning. But, uh, this today I slept in. Again. I owed myself that. I owed myself that. I, I deserved it. It's actually like kind of, this might be like one of the first days in a while where I actually turn off the AC because it's kind of chilly in here. It's finally, it's finally September. Good riddance to all the other months before this. The summer sucks. The summer sucks so bad, I welcome the fall and the death of many of the insects that make the summer suck so bad. Fuck off, die. There's, a, j go to the void, go to the shadow realm now. Get out, go on now, fuck you. Get out. Finally closer to 30 than 20, 40 than 10, death than life. Damn, man. Take it easy, okay? I don't, I'm not sure I'm closer to death than life yet. I, <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, like, unless I'm going, unless, like, really we're all agreeing on me going down at a cool, you know, 50-something, ideally, I'd like to, I'd like to, 50's a little young, still. Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? You threatening me? You trying to take me down? You trying to kill me? I will, I will, I will literally destroy you. Okay. On a moment's notice, okay, at a moment's notice, I can take you down. A couple of pigs. Destroy these. Time that person out. And add a mod note that says childish. Add it. Add it now, add it now. Thank you. Thank you. 999 plus messages too, and I bet they were all just as cringe. Dude, you wanna know what's got me kinda of stressed out today? The Zaws came, the annual birthday Zaws that I just can't seem to avoid because I never tell I never tell my family I shouldn't be doing this to myself anymore. Every year they, they get me these Zaws and they're, they're, they're to kill me. They're trying to kill me. My family's trying to kill me so that I'll die. So they can, you know, scoop up all my, all my various assets and cash out hard. I know it. I know it. I'm still going to eat it. Because every time they think they got me, uh, I eat all the pizzas and they're like, why are you, how are you? And I say, because I'm so powerful. Did you really think this would stop me? I say, wolfing down another slice. Did you really think this would stop me? Don't they know he pumps? Yeah, I pump sometimes. Every once in a while. Okay, I'll pump. 
But yeah. Uh, we're going to do the thing with Dave tomorrow. Uh, or possibly Monday. It depends. Because I'm not sure if I have D&D tomorrow or not. Because um, we have people that cannot make it. Because of other obligations. Uh, but I'm not sure if it's like one person or two people. Because if it's two people, we cancel. And at that point, uh, we'd have plenty of time to do what I want to do with Dave. Otherwise, we'll just plan on it for uh, later. Unless we can find something to squeeze in on Friday, because I think Dave's traveling today. He got caught up in some traffic. Yo, that's the same rule I use for D&D. Literally, if one person is missing a D&D session, tough shit. But I don't know what to tell you. Like, I... I don't think you should ever stop a D&D session for one person in my entire life. Unless like the game, literally, unless the entire plot of the session is based around that character, tough shit. Never. Two people, okay, now it's time to stop. I think it's pretty rough with scheduling if you stop for one person. Yeah, someone's always, Look, at some point, someone's always going to have something going on. It's not a big deal. We, all of my games use the one person out, no biggie, two people out, uh-oh. Unless, like, I don't know, there's some fights, like, now in, like, Godforged where I would be surprised if they didn't cancel. If, like, say, I were to miss this Sunday... I wouldn't be shocked. I would want them to continue without me, but I would also not blame them if the group was like, I don't want to do an end game boss fight down a player when truly we are almost always at the end of a fight dead. Uh, missing someone would possibly mean the entire campaign ends now. I mean, I ain't gonna miss a fucking session of Godforge for anything at this point. We're so deep in it, dude. We're so deep in it. Bro, you could literally just use AI. I'm not sure an AI would know all the deep inner workings of my character. I'm not sure an AI could pull it off. Okay, I, I just don't think an AI would be able to understand all the the deep i mean no chat i'm only being partially i'm only partially joking i think adelward is extremely complex to play right now because of how many options i have per turn for everything because joe lets me cast spells uh on my like as like a part of my extra attack like my full spells i've got so much shit i have to fucking track and so many buffs to track and so many things like, I've got, like, 50,000 different choices of action on every turn. I I truly pre-plan four turns in advance and write them down to play Adelward. Now, every other character I kick back, the bomb tonight, I kick back and I say, I will, I will Eldritch Blast this motherfucker so bad. <laughs> and next turn, I'm gonna do it again, baby. And that's my turn, dude. I know what's up. I know what's up. I only have two spell slots. I'm not I don't have to think too much. I know. I know I'm gonna say Eldritch Blast. Everyone's waiting for me to say the line every turn. I cast darkness. I use Eldritch Blast on advantage. I catch my cool hits. I wrap it up. Dude, I'm gonna continue to be the hottest nat one roller in our fucking Pipe Dreamers campaign. I'm fucking telling you what. I, I tell you what. People are always like, the bomb rolls so shit. And I'm like, yeah. I roll so shit. And I will continue to roll shit because I do so many rolls. Compared to everyone else, I technically basically had extra attack from the very start because of Mito. I do so many rolls. I roll so many hits all the time, and it's only gonna get worse because I get more beams of the blast. I roll so many rolls. I also have shit luck. <laughs> I also roll really bad on the bomb. 
but you know who rolls really good because of it? Vito. At least you also have a giant monkey. Yeah, but giant monkey's going away today. No cam today? Oh yeah. I know, I just actually forgot to turn it on. Giant monkey's going away. Uh, soon. I think giant monkey is, I don't, look chat, here's the thing with, here's the thing with Mito for pipe dreamers. I can choose currently one trait to give to Mito that isn't random of the things I've seen in the game. I've seen a lot of good things on Mito, but the best thing flat out, un, un completely unopposed best thing that Mito has right now is the darkness on action. Because that means I can basically bonus action cast a version of darkness that I don't have to hold concentration on. And there's nothing in the terminology of it that says that if they lose concentration, they can't just recast it infinitely every turn to reapply it. That is such a strong ability as someone that can see through darkness perfectly, like magical darkness. There is fundamentally, I literally have to take it. I think it's like the instant lock for every single Mito until I don't care about that ability anymore. Because it's like an up, it's like basically having free advantage forever. I have, unless Brett gives people, unless Brett gives people a uh, forced, like magical dark vision that can, it has to, it's not just dark vision, it's seeing through magical darkness or true sight. Uh, that's free, I have advantage on everything I do attack wise against the enemy forever as long as I'm in that. So that's why I do it. Some people want some people are like, dude, the bomb's a fucking coward, bro. It's like, yeah, I dude, I'm the squishiest motherfucker in our group. And when everyone else took the fucking perk, we get like free feats now at level one. So Brett let us take them all in post today. Everyone else was like, armor buff. I want to raise my armor proficiency. I want to use heavy armor now. I'm going to die. I'm like, give me like something funny. I don't care. Give me something funny. I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take uh, inspiring speech again, even though it didn't work for Clarent one time. Uh, give me something funny now. Give me something fun. I can afford to. I've got, I've got, I've got all my game knowledge to protect me. I don't need AC. But now you have to do 10 minute speeches. It's actually changed now. So it's every long rest or short rest. You can give uh, creatures up to your proficiency bonus uh, inspiration instead, which is like advantage on a roll that they choose, which is still very good. Uh, for ability checks. Like, that's still super good, considering I don't need to wait 10 minutes to apply it. Dude, I'll tell you what, though. As far as D&D &D mechanics is concerned for Pipe Dreamers, and I'll never tell him to do this, because I think everyone should figure out and, you know, enjoy playing their class whoever they want. I am quietly waiting for when Lawman realizes that his fucking turret is 10 times worse than the Force Field turret. I'm waiting for him to fucking realize that he needs to switch that force field to temporary health AOE turret and start carrying the group all by himself. Because I'm never going to tell him, but I'm hoping one day he'll notice how strong that ability is. Because he could be like, he could be literally giving everyone per turn 1d8 plus 5 temporary hit points. Every turn. Everyone around him. Which is insane. It's incredibly, it's a hundred times stronger than everything else artificers get. They don't stack? Yeah. Dude. But 8 HP in D&D is gigantic when that's possibly the difference between being up and able to take your action and not. It doesn't need to stack. The amount of times 8 HP has literally been the difference between someone being up and being face first in the dirt, now burning someone else's turn to bring them back up, is gigantic. It's one of the best abilities in the game. As far as Artificers, it's probably their best thing for a subclass. It's wildly strong. But I'm never gonna tell him. <laughs> 
I'm never gonna tell him. I'm I'm never telling anyone. Ever. I just won't. I've got my own stuff to do. I hate Audible. I hate Audible. Dude, are you good? <laughs> my guy, are you okay? <laughs> the company? I mean, like, yeah, it kind of sucks. Uh, I don't like Audible that much. I use it for audiobooks every once in a while, but it's not like I love it. I think he got an ad. No, I just assume he doesn't like Audible, which is okay. That's fine. They just had to get it out there. I get it. Don't worry. I get it. I get it, man. I get it. But yeah. I don't see Gorilla Mito coming back for a bit. Although, I will say this. I have quietly been jotting down all the best Mito perks I've gotten for when I reach like level 15 and I can pick like four perks at a time or some shit without randomization. And you bet I'm gonna pick Gorilla with the ability to teleport for movement and a bunch of other crap and make truly the scariest creature known to man. going to make a gorilla that can teleport oh yeah level 15 it's a long way away but with my character uh it's cool to it's cool to look at all of it my character gets incredibly strong later on their curve is they're basically their power curve isn't like new abilities it's how long it takes me to roll all the best perks from Mido's like list. And I've been rolling them, dude. I've been rolling them hard. I've been rolling them hard. Not even clear got to level 15. I literally got to level 15. <laughs> that was the end of the campaign. I literally got to level 15. That was the one off at the bank. I was 15 for that. Cause I leveled up. I leveled up uh, at the end game, the last boss fight. Technically. Says the warlock without a patron. We have literally... Are you guys bozos? Are you dumb? We've literally been in battle with my patron. We've battled them. In combat, we have. It's happened in combat. And you're Omega Lolic. What are you, clowns? You're trolling. You're trolling. I only play champion fighter, dude. See, here's the thing, chat. There is a dark part of me that in another level of Adelward on Godforged may double down and take champion fighter and just choose choose violence. There is a part of me that wants to cash in on all the basically eternal advantage I have and choose violence, but I don't want to be a crit fishing character. <laughs> I don't want that to be the end of my character is crit fishing. I just don't want to do it, even though he's basically built for it at this point. Look, that one time I did that one spell and did 400 damage to like five creatures a couple sessions ago. It made me kind of hungry to hit hard. It kind of made me think about how much better it would be if I also crit on every 19. Okay. You like model? Here's the thing. You can definitely do more damage. Look, well, the reason... Here's the thing. Model did a lot of damage there because of the fact that you could double damage with vulnerability and that's when Brett was like doing that mechanic. I'm more interested now who's going to be the person who does the most damage in this campaign or like in this setting where there's less vulnerability the way Brett ran it in phase two. 
because I just don't think it's going to come up. I don't think the same kind of method of like, oh, this is the phase where we have to do a ton of damage because everything's like, you know, DPS races. I'm curious to see how it'll happen now. We're not like stacking vulnerability to hit for like 10,000 a hit. Because I mean, you could also argue that while model did the most overall damage in one hit, the end of the Asmodeus fight in phase two, I think that was the most sustained damage anyone output ever with everyone just copying my spell at the end. I, I think we put out like a thousand health damage in like a fucking, I don't remember. It was a ridiculous amount of damage at the end of that fight. Cause we just like gamed the mechanics at the very end. Oh, that was a good time. Yeah, nah, that Parasitic Surge spell was insane. Oh, to learn it again. Oh, if it's possible for... I, I don't know, maybe it's possible for the bomb to learn that in a thousand years. That'd be awesome, because that spell's cracked. Because <laughs> that spell's cracked. So it'd be cool to have... It would be cool to have an AoE spell that strong again. I once punched a demon for 400 damage as a monk because I had both my fists blessed by a paladin and a homebrew templar. That sounds badass, man. Congratulations. One day I'll play a monk when they're fun. <laughs> One day I'll play a monk when I'm sure that there's enough homebrew like rules added to make them functional. So you won't play one. Probably never. How was Juno? I don't want to be mean. But I've never had fun playing Juno. Ever. Ever. I've never had... I don't know. Ever. I've never had fun playing him. That sounded very mean. I'm just saying it as it is. Look, it doesn't matter. We're done talking about D&D. &D. Just don't ever play a monk, okay? Don't, just don't play him. Monk is strong as hell though. Wrong. <laughs> Go play a ranger. <laughs> no, that's a strong class. Now that there's a class with some strength. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to play a monk, just play like anything else and then just get the fighter style for unarmed fighting and instantly make your punches do more damage than a monk's will until they're level 10. And have a billion other things you can do as a character. That's just bullying. It's just being truthful. <laughs> it's just being truthful. I always play Shatter the Hedgehog. Paladins can smite with hands. I believe that's confirmed as not possible. Although I frankly think it, any DM uh, worth anything should allow people to smite with their bare hands if they're a paladin and a monk. But I'm pretty sure there's rulings from like the sage talk that says you're not allowed to do that. Even though I think it's bullshit if that's true. Because I think it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not like, a, it doesn't matter for balance. It doesn't change anything. But some people, some people are so fucking addicted to rules. <laughs> oh, whatever, whatever, dude, dude, whatever, man. Whatever. I'm still just like, I'm just, <sighs> I'm worried about those pieces. I'm just using D&D &D to distract myself from the peaches because I'm afraid of what tomorrow will bring. 
I'm afraid of what tomorrow is going to bring with the pizzas. I'm deeply, I'm deeply troubled. I'm deeply troubled. It'll be fine, right? Yeah, I'm not going to die. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to die or anything. I just need to like, I just need to not eat them. I just need to, uh, like, maybe I, like, just, I don't know, leave them in the fridge or the freezer forever and never, and never, ever look at them, observe them or anything, you know? I'm not going to die right before he dies. He says that. I'm not, I'm gonna be fine, Chad. I'm gonna be fine. No one's, not one man has ever died from eating a pizza. Right, that's absolutely someone's fucking died from eating a pizza. A hundred percent someone's died eating a pizza. Papa John's didn't die. And he ate 30. He ate so many more than me. He ate so many pizzas. He was close though. 40 and 30 days. 40 and 30 days. The day of reckoning. I'll be damned if I'll let Papa John outdo me in anything. That's right, take the, that's right, that's right, you know what? That's right, you get out there and you down those pizzas. Don't let that guy, that genuine asshole piece of shit beat you. Get out there and down 50 pizzas. Don't let him claim anything, ever. Ever. Raise the bar. <laughs> Raise the bar. Didn't he like admit to lying on an interview? I can't remember. The things Papa John has done that make him a bad person. I... Frankly, if he were to say I fibbed once on an interview, I'd be like, yo, John, that is not what we are taking issue with, dude. Not, not once, not once has anyone been like, I don't know if I like Papa John because of the one time he fibbed once on an interview. My guy, Do <laughs> Papa John, uh, <laughs> it's not about the lie. It's not about the lie. Papa John's is the Jar Jar Binks of pizza. What? What? <laughs> what? I thought that was the Noid. also hated by everyone fundamentally despised by everyone a fucked up dark past okay and very hastily buried by the brand that created them it's the noid There's a Noid video game, isn't there? I've literally played it. It's like you guys don't check the lore before you make s foolish messages. You don't even you don't even check the lore before you post foolish foolish messages in my chat. I watched Star Wars recently and burst out laughing because I saw the slug. 
I'm happy that I've never seen the Star Wars movies, or at least the new one that the slug originated from, and thankfully will never have to in my entire life, most likely. That's the last one, right? That's like the most recent movie. Isn't the slug's name like Harold? It's literally Harold. Star Wars has such a fascinating world that the mainline movies are so afraid to dive deep into. It's Claude. Yeah, that they name their slug creature Claude. Talk about being so creatively bankrupt that you even feel compelled to name the horrible creature Claude. Claude? Don't call him horrible. He's horrible. He's horrible. Wait, there's more than Tatooine? I l look, I like my incredibly affordable fucking set pieces too. That's just sand. I, I too love it when I can film an entire, uh, you know, mini series in the same block of sand, the same lot for, you know, cool, you know, season. I love that. It's easy. I'm so sick of Sand Planet. Yeah, but here's the thing, is that if you if you whine about it enough, the people that make Star Wars are gonna be like, fine, you're so sick of Sand Planet, fine, fine. We'll blow it up. We make a new planet-destroying weapon every movie series. We'll blow it up. We'll kill it. And then people will get angry. <laughs> then people will get outraged. How dare you glass Sand Planet? How dare you glass sand planet? That was our favorite planet. I'm sure it's not an unpopular take to always loop back around to the biggest issue Star Wars has and that it always says a galaxy far, far away and then it is really just five set pieces. It's five places and they hang out in all those places an awful lot. Uh, they really love the, it's a it's a small scale outer wilds esque solar system structure, and that's pretty much all we have. It's like how the U.S. has four real cities. <laughs> True, you know what? True. True. Massive galaxy, same five people running into each other over and over. Dude, it's like, if the galaxy is that huge, truly, if I ever saw the same person twice in my entire life while I wasn't trying to find them, I would be baffled. That just doesn't happen. I've, not in my entire life, I've seen the same person twice out in public that I'd recognize and be like, I just saw that guy. I saw that guy in another city. How's that? I assume they're following me. I assume that I have to kill them. How else did they find me again? That's the guy. Now, you, you guys know that guy. That's the guy. That's the one. I know that guy. I know that guy. I've seen that guy. I've seen that guy like a couple times now. Pulls out gun. Guess I'm going to have to get rid of that guy. Or he gets rid of me. Hello there. Yeah, I love, I fucking love Obi-Wan Kenobi and his one line. I fucking love that guy. Oh, it'd be so fucking funny if Obi-Wan Kenobi came out and said his famous line. Does anyone ever really think about the fact that like, if you shot at a guy with a, like a lightsaber with like a fucking lead bullet, like any kind of normal conventional firearm and they tried to cut the bullet in half, it might just like, they might just get hit by two shred, like shards of a bullet and still die. Like, did they ever think, they surely, they that happens at least once. 
That happened in the comics. Oh, yeah. That was an entire plot point. A whole, they did a whole plot point for that? I was thinking it'd be like a one-time thing that they mentioned like one time. They made a whole fucking like minted series about it, about that one bullet. The Ballistic Projectiles Trilogy. Nope, whole big war. They waged a war over it. They, there was a whole war fought over it. The Jedi's only real weakness is slug rounds from shotguns. Jedi didn't know what to do with lead bullets, lol. What the fuck? I mean, here's the thing. I I think I'm in the minority when I say the less scary part of a Jedi is the swords that can cut through anything. Because the only actually scary part to me is like the part where they can pick up a rock and throw it at me really hard. You know? Like, I'm worried about that. I'm worried about the fact that I see them pick up a bunch of stuff and then throw it at me really hard all at the same time. And like, the, I don't know, the mind control? I'm gonna be honest, dude. I would never hang out with a fucking Jedi uh, or like a Sith or any kind of force user. The second I saw one guy I know go like, do any kind of mind trick, I'd be like, you haven't done that on me, right? Like you tell me if you did that on me, right? I'd never hang out with them. I'd never trust them my entire life. You would never know. I'd watch them do it to someone else. And then I'd know. Jedi look like they smell. There's never a scene in the entirety of Star Wars where any of the characters is like, I'm going to go take a shower because like I, I, I need to take care of my personal hygiene. Not once do they ever elaborate that. And that's why I assume all of them smell like shit. And stink like death. And that pretty much translates to every single character in any kind of fiction ever is. Unless they, at some point, basically look into the camera and say, And here I go off camera to take care of my personal hygiene because that's something I value. I'm going to assume for the most part they live a life of complete squalor. You know? I hate some of the messages that I see in chat, you know that? I loathe some of your messages. Some of your messages are so bad. I hate, I, matter of fact, I hate all of them. Sounds like a Neil Breen movie moment. One thing Neil Breen confirms, okay, in almost every single one of his movies is that his characters care about their hygiene, okay? and. In a world where most normal people don't? In a world where 90% of the time I can smell some people from across the building? I value this stuff. I'm grateful. There was a fart wedding and you can thank Disney for that. What are you talking about? You can't just say things. You can't just say things. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Where? Where? Defi tell us your source. Star Wars fart wedding. Tell us your fucking source, you hack. I made it the fuck up. That's my fucking source, you piece of shit. <laughs> Dude. Thank God, all right?
In Star Wars canon, Farmer with a shotgun would be called Farmer with a slug thrower. Yeah, that's cool. That's something. I don't know if it changes much about their power level. It sounds stronger, technically. But whenever I hear slug thrower, I just think it's something throwing slug. You know? Like, not like a gun, but more of like a slingshot. I would never throw a cute slug. Dude, I would absolutely 100% huck a slug so fucking hard if it confirmed to me that with its power, I could kill a Jedi. Yeah. Yeah. That's some Sith shit? My guy, look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. What have Jedi done? <laughs> what did Je I'm not saying I'm a Sith. I'm just asking, what has I... I'm saying b pretty much across the board, I don't think anyone should be able to pick up stuff and throw it across a room with their mind. Frankly, I don't think anyone should be able to do that. Across the board. I think that's bullshit. And if I saw some little creature like Yoda jumping around with a little laser sword that could cut me in half and then like picking up 10 ton bricks and throwing them at things so hard that it's like he's a giant fucking gorilla, I'd be like, oh yeah, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is something is off here. Stormtrooper POV. The only mistake that the Stormtroopers made was not after killing all the Jedi and realizing how fucking easy it is to kill Jedi. The only mistake they made was not immediately turning around and being like, now you, and then also gunning down Emperor Palpatine. Dude, all of the fear of being like, oh my god, dude, Jedi is so fucking strong, dude. They're unbeatable. And then it takes one laser shot to the back and they fall over dead instantly. And they instantly, like, the, their fucking, their neurons activate and they were like, wait, I can do this to every Jedi that existed. Wait, it's that easy. And then they all just did that and killed every, literally almost all of them. The fact that you wouldn't then be like, and like turn around and then shoot Emperor Palpatine right after is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Dude, I would instantly be like, yeah, why am I hanging out with this guy? Fuck him. We, he just taught, he basically just confirmed to us that his greatest weakness is three people in a room shooting him. I don't know. It just feels kind of... I Like, even if we're cool right now, I would probably just try to wrap that up as quickly as I can because I can tell he's evil. Like, I'm a clone. I have no reason to not kill this person. You know what I mean? I am a clone. My existence is 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 so sad as it is, I may as well escalate hard. Whoa, this whole combo has me tilted. What are you tilted about? Why are you so mad? Why are you getting angry? Why are you getting mad about this? Unfortunately, I don't think a blaster is gonna kill Palpatine. My guy, some of the Jedi probably could have been killed by like a stormtrooper throwing a rock at the back of their head. Like, get five people and throw rocks at the same time, and probably Emperor Palpatine's old bones crumble. To be honest. Like, wait for the Jedi to go to the bathroom. <laughs> wait until Emperor Palpatine's like, I have to fucking go so bad, I gotta, I gotta go, I'll be right back. And then... Get a grenade! We have those! 
get a grenade, throw it in the door, and then aim all your guns at the door and wait for him to go like, oh fuck, and then jump, run out and then you gun him down. He's a, he's an old man. He probably can't get up that fast. I'm just saying. Grenades against a force user. Dude. Here's the thing. Yeah, they can throw it back. They can technically throw the grenade back. But like, how does a force user throw back guess? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, I've never seen them be like, what if you just fucking like, it's just, a, it's just gas in there what if you just use a get like a grenade that's just nerf gas i don't think you can throw that back asshole they've never confirmed at any point that they can move air around they've done they've not done it they don't need to breathe they have special force breathing techniques okay so this guy is taking a big dump in his toilet a gas grenade rolls in. Oh no, all the stormtroopers figured it out. My greatest weakness is simply five people wanting to kill me at the same time. Shit. All right, I'm gonna stop breathing. Okay, I'm gonna use my force move to throw the grenade back out the door. Oh wait, all the stormtroopers are wearing gas masks because they always wear those. That's their uniform. They literally wear them. Okay, so we're back at square one. I'm still sitting on the toilet. Is that a flamethrower? Which they also confirmed have in this universe? Uh, uh-oh. There is- the Jedi is so weak. They're not that strong. All you need is three people to be like, okay, let's think ahead one step past the Jedi. Like, past the guy we're getting. Let's think one step ahead. And you win. <laughs> One step. That's all it takes. Just orbitally bombard them. Literally, dude. Literally. Literally. Like every stormtrooper on any Star Destroyer could have been like, yeah, Emperor Palpatine's in that house right there taking a shit. He thinks all the Jedi are gone. Get him. Get him, guys. Come on. We're, clones taking over. We're taking over the whole thing. All of us clones are going to take over the whole thing. It's time. Just hit him with a fucking, like, explosive. Like, just blast him with a missile. Good fucking luck, dude. Why is it solely when he's taking a shit? Because you know he's old as fuck and his bowels don't work that well. But technically, you could do this anytime, dude. Like, all you got to do... I, hey, Jedi, how do you force pull poison from food out once you've eaten it? I wish you luck. Good fucking luck. I filled this with rat poison. Fuck you. You stupid old piece of shit. They'd force sense the food. They'd sense it. Jedi are immune to poison. Dude, I'm immune to everything. My special power is that I am a god. I am akin to Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. Except there's like fucking 500 of us, dude. We walk around, we have lightsabers. We're stronger than everyone else. We can pick up anything. We can throw anything. I'm basically immortal. I cannot die. Jedi equals level 10 monks. Oh, well, that's easy then. Yeah, just shoot him. But, like, with magic. Just, yeah, I guess flamethrower is the solution. Just make them do a saving throw of any kind and they'll crumble. Yeah. Yeah, good luck. Hit him with a flamethrower.
I don't know, dude. Bring in the actual guns. It's just, they're so pathetic and sad. I don't know. Wouldn't anyone have been like, dude, if it took truly all it took was a bunch of guys with guns getting the jump on a bunch of literal super soldier, like Jedi masters to take them all down. Wouldn't that completely dismantle everyone's belief in any system of power ever for the rest of time in this universe? If all it took was like a couple of clones to be like, surprise, I'm bad and just stab you. Dude, when the next fucking group of people were like, I, I am in control now, I'd be like, I don't know about that, dude. <laughs> are you guys sure someone's not gonna just like, like, are you fucking sure? I don't trust anything anymore. The Jedi aren't even that good at fighting, they're fucking monks. I believe in this, in the... In all of the source material, they are pretty much sold off as, uh, they're pretty much, they're pretty much told to be the greatest of warriors. I'm, I'm not sure that's accurate. They're called the greatest of warriors. They're like paladins. Aren't they just space samurai? Look, again though, chat, here's the thing. A Jedi, I know they can stop stuff. But I'd love to see them, look, I know they can stop a ship careening towards them at full speed with the intention to hit and kill them, but will they? You know, that's really what it comes down to is how many, how many throw, like, eventually they're gonna fucking miss a shot, you know what I mean? And then it's over. Then it's over. Just hit him with a car, dude. Nice job stopping the first ship with both hands. The first ship. You stopped the first one. In comes a second. In comes a second. Hong Kong, boom, and they're gone. Got him. Okay, hear me out, machine guns. Hear me out. Okay. Hear me out. I was just thinking of a really good one, but I don't, mm, I don't know. Actually, I do know, this would totally work. Low ceilings. I've never seen a single Jedi that doesn't at some point reflexively jump super hard and high into the sky to do like a cool flip. Low ceiling. They'll probably kill themselves. They'll probably just break their necks. Ha! And then they'll just fucking smash their head and die. Like, just get them, get them in a place with a low ceiling and they're done. It's over. They put like spikes on it. Yoda lived in a hull. What are you talking about? Yoda was also short as shit, so to him, the low ceiling was a normal ceiling, you fool. God, you're dumb. Do you- did you remember Yoda as six feet tall? And he did jump high! Multiple times! You stupid moron! He was the highest of all the jumpers! Yoda would be most susceptible to this. You guys are pissing me off. You guys are pissing me off. All right, bad today. Worse than usual. Kinda, I'm like shaking. Can't you see how mad you're making me? What is that logic? What logic? All right, hang on. What logic are you talking about? 
All right, this is the same bozo that said Yoda lived in a hole. What are you talking about? Dude, have you not been listening to the conversation we've been having, or are you just a fool? Just because Jedi can live in a small place doesn't mean that's going to be the place of engagement, you fucking moron, you fool. Yeah, yeah, I don't... Here's the thing. If Yoda's gonna live in a small hole, there are other solutions. You can just, I don't know, park a car in front of the hole. And then just like, I don't know, call it a day, fill it with cement. There's solutions to that. Drop it. Yeah, he can move it. Bulldoze the hole. Bulldoze right over it. Like, he, and then he's forced to come out and now we're back on my playing field. Although technically you don't have to do anything for Yoda because he didn't... He's evidently not a threat to anyone. He, the second he lost one time, he went into hiding and died. <laughs> he crawled into the nearest hole and died. So I don't think anyone's worried about Yoda or they would have went and got him. He literally crawled in a hole and died. So, you know. Dude, I would like, it, all it took was one bad day. <laughs> all it takes, all it took was one bad day for Yoda to be like, fuck this. Fuck this. I don't want it anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang out in the hole. Thoughts on Sith Jar Jar. The internet is so desperate to make sense of one of the most worthless piece of shit characters to ever be designed. Ever. And it's sad. The only good thing that anyone could have done with Jar Jar is confirmed his death in the third movie so that we could all move on with our lives. Like, unfortunately, he was in the- he was in Coruscant during the Order. And so, uh, and I, like, Stormtrooper blew his brains all over the wall. Like, it would have been nice if they panned to his dead corpse at some point during, like, the events. But that's just me. I know there's a lot of people out there. I know there's a lot of Jar Jar heads that really love the guy. Can't get enough of him. Well, I show him eating a grenade or something. He's dumb enough that, like, I feel like he would have. I feel like that could have been a really comical end. You know? For Jar Jar. So-called Jar Jar enthusiasts. He was at Padme's funeral. I would never invite someone like Jar Jar to a funeral ever. I feel like he's the kind of person that always is making a sound. You know what I mean? You know, like a noise? Like, I feel like Jar Jar is the kind of person that's always making a noise. Like, unintentionally, there's some kind of noise emitting from him all the time. You know? He was also at Qui-Gon's funeral and smiled. Yo, is Jar Jar evil and also a Sith? Because why would anyone go to... I have a theory about Jar Jar Binks that I want to bring to the class. Why would Jar Jar go to Qui-Gon Jinn's funeral and smile unless he was in fact a dark creature, a creature of the darkness with the power of the Sith. It just doesn't make any sense. You check the video length. 70 minutes. All of it, all of it dissecting why Jar Jar smiled one time at a funeral. It's an actual theory kind of makes sense if you thunk of it. If you look carefully in the middle of the funeral for Qui-Gon Jinn, you can see as Jar Jar turns around, winks at the camera, and gives a thumbs up as if he's happy for the death of his friend. Why would he be happy unless he was a Sith? 
unless he was a Sith warrior. It doesn't make any sense unless, of course, Jar Jar is in fact a plant of the Sith, a, a, a creature of darkness. may in fact be one of the first Sith and one of the most powerful. <laughs> Let him die. Let him disappear. Everyone hates him. Let him go, chat. Let him go. Would you rather he is Sith? Really? 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 Really, are there really people out there like the best thing that could have happened is if they fucking doubled down? No. You're memeing, you're a little memer and you're making, and you're confusing Disney. Look at what you're doing. Don't you think the franchise has suffered enough? I'm not a big fan of Star Wars, but don't you think it suffered enough without you, like you little rascals being like, I fucking, Disney, you wanna know what the real problem is with your current situation with Star Wars is that there's not enough Jar Jar as a Sith Lord. I think that you should be more, I think you should be more daring with your current uh, brand decisions. And then when Disney's like, oh, we've made the big reveal. This one is that Jar Jar was bad. He was bad all along. Qui-Gon died cause Jar Jar. Do you like? And then everyone's gonna be like, this sucks. You fucking morons, you fools. Didn't you see that we were joking all along? You've been had. You've been had. It would be more interesting than whatever the fuck they're doing. I would be happy with Disney truly smash cutting in the middle of any show on their network to simply Jar Jar's dead fucking body in a desert. Okay, I would. I'd be happy just to know they're dead. Just smash cut to like his grave and then cut back away. No dialogue, no music, no audio. Smash, like, just cut to his grave and then cut back. Just so people know. It doesn't need content. Jar Jar Binks fakes his death without you. You see that in the middle of the Mandalorian season four they they randomly cut to the to, to the grave of jar jar binks why what would be the reason they don't they don't show what's inside of the grave they simply they simply show the grave and the de and the year of his death which if you cross check there's no details as to his death perhaps it is in fact because he is the antagonist of the overarching plot line of mandalorian season four he may be the sith lord nothing will ever make you shut up unless jar jar is eaten by wolves He must be devoured. He must be eaten and killed. Ideally by evil wolves. <laughs> or else someone would be like, oh, it was a setup. No, they've got to be fundamentally mean-spirited, possibly Sith in nature, the wolves. Someone said one of the weirdest fucking chat messages I've ever seen. Hang on. What the fuck was that? New chat member. New chat member alert. We got a new one. I want Jar Jar to eat a jalapeno really loudly into a bad camcorder microphone. Alright, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. We're gonna start playing this game. We'll be right back.
What I don't understand is how Jar Jar, why Jar Jar, in fact, would be shown on a Disney Plus service, simply devouring an entire handful of jalapeno peppers without even wincing, without even hesitating for a moment to devour all those jalapeno peppers. Perhaps the force was involved in, in his ability to handle the intense flavors of a jalapeno pepper. He handled it so shockingly well that I can simply only assume that some kind of force was involved. Perhaps Jar Jar is a dark master of the force of the Sith. Think about it. <laughs> Think about it. It's in fact a well, it's a well-known detail of dark, of dark scions of the Sith that they can completely ignore pain. They can disable it if they need to. Only a Sith could handle that many jalapeno pips without even batting an eye. Put it on your blog, nerd. <laughs> put it... Put, <laughs> Put it on your blog, nerd. <laughs> Shut the fuck up now, nerd, you dork. Jesus fucking Christ. All right. You're right. You're right. I shouldn't. I shouldn't do this anymore. Uh, all right, chat. We're playing the new haunted PS1 demo disc pile. It's been a little bit. It's been a little bit. I was like haunted. Yeah, I was like ghouls. I found this disc in my fucking glove box of my car. I found, Chad, I was walking around outside in the dead of night. I was walking around outside in the dead of night, walking laps around my house, around my property line in the dead of night. When I saw a spooky disc covered in some kind of strange substance I've never seen before roll out of the forest and towards me. It, was, it had an uncanny stench and a ter and a terrible a ter a terrible wafting smell completely overtook the entire neighborhood. I did taste the goo to confirm what it was, simply to confirm what it was. It was not of this world. The goo Was it perhaps ectoplasm from a ghost? Or something else even farther beyond our understanding? All right, let's play it. Fucking whatever. <laughs> please stop. Stop now, please stop. Please, please stop, streamer. Hang on, I gotta check. So hang on, before I start, I got a message from DM, yeah, D and D Friday group. I gotta make sure I read this. Uh, oh, weeks. Yeah, we might not have D and D on Friday, so I need to make sure that I I punch in my my schedule. Uh, all right. Where the hell are we? The old haunted mall. The old haunted mall, middle of winter. Snowed in. The entire world out there has been completely snowed in. End of the line. Everything's gone. Hang on, I'm gonna turn the audio all the way. Everything's gone. It's all gone. Vaping in the mall. Zoomer, please. 
Zoomer, calm the fuck down now. Shut up. Vaping in the mall. Hello? What is this strange substance all over the ground? Hello? It seems to be some kind of containment cell to protect or perhaps keep keep it in this strange contraption. I've never seen one of these before. I cannot open this. I need a key. The House of Necrosis. Are you going to do this the whole stream, Tomato? What? Talk in my voice, motherfucker? What? What? Talk in... Talk? Say things? Little rat... What do you mean? What do you mean? Your funny voice. That's my real voice! This has always been the way I talk. It seems I'm walking in circles. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, streamer. <sighs> Despite the fact that this building has no power, somehow one of the displays turned on next to me, startling me greatly. Could this be the power of a Sith Lord? Or perhaps a ghost? I'm at my fucking limit. Come on, chat. Come on, dude. Launch demo. Dead letter department. Oh, are these the games? But I can't play this one. It's boarded up. I know some of the games in this demo disc I've actually already played. I didn't understand at that moment in time the sound I was hearing. It's just the thing turning on. Can I go on that? North Star Curry. I mean, sh I, I guess fucking whatever, let's... Is that a gun with eyes on it? Nowhere, Michigan. Go to exterior. Let's just take a look around before we get into any of these games. Bolt cutters. I might need these. That's where we keep all the shit games. Okay, so apparently we cannot use these bolt cutters on that. Watch from the side. I guess we'll play this courier game because it's the first one that's like available. North Star Courier, a demo by Ben. Ben Drury. Explore the depths of a little bay side town as you deliver packages and uncover its dark underbed. Uh, all right, so uh, the content warnings for this one. We got meat. Uh, so um, if you guys are um, off put by meat, get the fuck out. Get out of here now. There's meat in here. There's meat in these halls. Uh -oh. Crashes if controller. Okay, uh, well. I was gonna use mouse and keyboard anyways, so don't sweat it. I'm, I'm glad that a game elaborates very clearly its, uh, its greatest weakness. <laughs> Here we are, beautiful North Star Courier. Let's take a look. Options. Uh, this isn't changing when I click it, so I'm guessing that everything's already fine. So yeah.
Okay, everything is not fine. Stop! Can I... Stop it! Stop! Couldn't read that. Oh, yeah, that's a good resolution. <laughs> Let's crank that up. Is that the highest resolution? You can do better than that. It, it takes like five clicks and then you can up, you can bring it up a little, a little bit closer. Little bit more. Maybe just a little bit more. Let's bring that up one more tick. I'm, I'm let's bring it up a time. Maybe one more. There it is. Maybe one more. A little bit more. Nope. A little more. A little more. A little bit more. Do I even dare to presume that this game has 2K functionality? A little bit more? A little bit more. Just a tiny bit more and we'll be there. There it is. There it is. Quit the whole game? Because <laughs> I'm going to relaunch it now because we missed the starting cutscene. Okay. Let's get in there. What kind of dark secrets await us inside Northside Court? There was something strange about the resolution in that game that I couldn't I couldn't put into words. Stop, I will wi wi wave. <laughs> Fury tumor voice. Dude, come on. Hang on. Ah! Oh my god. Well, I fixed it. Should have gone backwards. Hey, kiddo, wake up. We're just about there. Mm, why? Could you at least pretend to be at least a little bit excited? Come on, Dad. It's not like I'm leaving the country. Yeah, but by living by yourself in the middle of nowhere for the first time in your life, it isn't that far off. Mm, true. I just wish it wasn't because of the... Okay, let me fucking read, dude. We all start somewhere. Besides, didn't they give you the phot that photography gig? Good place to start your portfolio, no? Ah, uh, well, yeah, I guess. You're right. No, yeah, it actually does seem pretty good. And it's only for a month. Trust me, it'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, looks like the town's just up ahead. Just drop me off by the gate. Love you, Dad. Smooch's bald head. Why'd you have to... He didn't have a model. You could have just... He didn't have to elaborate that he's bald. He could be whatever we want him to be. In our heads. What the hell? Oh well. Hang on. Dear Porter, congratulations on your recent locational promotion. Here's some tips to help you on the first day. Dude, I'm trying so fucking hard to do something on my other monitor that's not opening. Okay, I got it. For fuck's sake, that pissed me off. All right. Each day you'll be given a set number of packages to deliver, to give to the locals. You cannot finish the day before all the packages are delivered. You've been given a camera. Ask around for anomalies. Search. And if found, red will appear. R to toggle camera. Left mouse button to capture. QE to zoom. At the end of a day's work, look for the blue building with the company's logo. Anonymous gifter, thanks for the 20 fucking gifted subs. Very kind of you. Thank you. Thanks. Wow, here we are. Whoa, it's like Pokemon Snap, dude! Yeah, I found an anomaly. Is that someone's head? There. Yeah. picture of that something weird's going on here and this is my character's max speed I 
I found another anomaly. Wow, this place is actually fully saturated in anomalies. The fuck was that? I actually might leave my webcam on for this, uh, for these games today, considering they're horror games. And there's not much going on, but I am gonna shrink it. <laughs> Anomaly, left corner, shut up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll crop it right at the aspect ratio for these games. Oh no, hang on. We'll crop it right at the aspect ratio for these games. Yeah, perfect. All right, yeah, there we go. All right, lady, let's get you to the town. Mail ain't gonna deliver itself. New song acquired. Can I listen to these? I don't like any song named Swallow by Pistol Jazz, to be honest. I don't like the name of that song. But it's a good, it's a good song. Wow, here we are, first day at the new job. Let's get on in there, that mail ain't gonna deliver itself. Come on, chat, we got work to do. Here we are at the old building. Take a picture of that. What have we here? There are puzzles in this town. Look for notes, they will be found. The Puzzle Master, smile. The Puzzle Master's clue! Shut up. I need to focus up. If there's gonna be puzzles in this game, we don't have time for whimsical music. Cause we, apparently the Riddler is loose. I'm also checking for anomalies. We never know where there may be an anomaly creeping around. Well, looks like this is my new place. I better go find someone to talk to first before I settle down though. So long, house. Why does my house have a spooky star on it and no windows? It doesn't matter. That's probably fine. You guys think I'm gonna get killed? Cowrie Bay. Oh yeah, I don't like this place. I don't like this place at all. I don't like the tall cliff sides near this place. I'm not gonna get like, I'm not gonna get like disappeared or something, right? Does your house in Animal Crossing have windows? No, but that doesn't count. That's not fair. Everyone else has windows. That right there is the, uh, that's a cow, that's an eye, or a bone, and that's... I don't know why, but I'm getting Among Us vibes from that. So I think that's like a pet store. I think this is a pet store. Let's go in here first. Man, this house looks old and abandoned. Oh well, I'd better get a move on. Okay. Here we have another house. This must have been a schoolhouse, a very small one at that. Oh well, I'd best get a move on. Wow, this girl cares as much about the environment as I do in real life when I look at old shitty buildings. What the fuck? D wow, this place looks old and disgusting. Bye. And that's enough of that, I don't care. This place is so old and crusty. We probably don't want to go this way. Ah, damn! There's a goddamn cone in the way. Looks like I can't go up ahead, frowny face. Piece of shit cone. Looks like we're not going that way. Bigfoot. That's... Those are his. That... That's him. Oh my god. Why, that's the Bigfoot. That's some kind of huge person's foot. Hang on, what's this? Man, this house looks old and abandoned. Oh well, well that's two houses that are abandoned and old now, lady. Is every house this? Is this the whole place? Wait. But there's also Bigfoot tracks there. And 
Oh my god. What the hell's going on in this place? What the hell's going on in this place? Whoa, a vending machine, but I don't have any change on me, frown in your face. I'll be back for you, don't worry. You think? Uh, this place is completely, absolutely abandoned, chat, top to bottom. Looks like the sign fell off this house. I wonder what it says. Oh, well, I'd best get a move on. It says the exact same fucking thing as every other place here. It says the exact same thing. They're all the same place, you stupid idiot child, you foolish idiot. Playing a literal gnome. I am a child! One. Okay, I am a child. I'm small. Shorter than door handles. I have work to do. I can't be distracted by you. Bigfoot's afoot. Some kind of person over here. Some kind of strange weirdo. Hello, sir. I'm here on behalf of North Star Deliveries. I have a package here for Mr. Mold. Nicholas Mold. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. Now, do you think I could ask you some... Say, kid, you like speed? What? Did you just offer me drugs, Mr. Mold? Huh? Like... Going fast and stuff? I do, yeah. Okay, I thought he was asking me, he was offering me drugs. Just asking me if I like speed. I can tell you have a kind of aura to you that I really respect and dig a lot. After we're done here, take a look around the back of my house. Consider it a welcoming gift for me. You do not go behind that house, kid. Or I guess considering this kid is doing fucking postal deliveries, this might actually just be a fully grown, like, person that is just truly very small. Naturally. The life of someone that's 5'8". It's tragic, really. It's actually kind of tragic. Ah, uh, thanks, sir. Will do. Now, do you think you could answer some of my questions? Sure, I respect a person that likes question, much, much like I respect a person that likes speed, or really anything. One, have you found anything weird around here? I found a thing on the ground earlier. What do you- Oh, I'm, I thought she was asking all these at the same time. Have you, have you found anything weird around here? Hmm, weird? Uh, I'll tell you what. Sometimes I see a critter. A thing so fast I can't make out a shape. It's usually around town. But I say look for clues if you ask me, which you are. Will do, sir. I found a thing on the ground earlier. Mini discs? Yeah, it looked like it. Yep, those are mine. Why were they on the ground? Tell you what, it's those damn birds. They use them for nesting material, lousy jerk. Say if you find any, though, take them as a gift from me, for free, no less. Oi hoy, thanks. Oi hoy, thanks. Oi hoy? What the fuck is oi hoy? Oi hoy? Ahoy. Ahoy. Like, like a pirate? What are you playing? It's beautiful. <laughs> what? <laughs> this guy's weird. Alright, bye. I'd recommend getting settled in for the day. Roadworks won't be finished till tomorrow. They brought out the cone. And everything. I'll be here if you need me. See ya. So what's this treasure you left behind your house by the- I'm gonna get murdered if I go back here. This weirdo on the piano is gonna kill me. What? Yo, never mind, dude! Hold up! Oh my god. Holy shit. Let's get back to my house. This game slaps. This is the maximum speed, by the way. This is as fast as the vehicle goes. But matter of fact, I do like speed. And I do like driving my scooter into my house. 
Is that goddamn peep right there? Is that fucking peep? Is that fucking peep? They got peep in this? Dude, that's my guy. That's that's the people's guy. I think most people would agree that peep is our guy. I, everyone everyone I know is a big peep fan. God I love peep. Rejoice and be glad. Now that's just motivational. Toilet with no means to flush, basically just a big bucket. Yo, we got extra peep. We got extra peep. Okay, wait. <laughs> Is this a toilet kitchen? Is this a kitchen bathroom? Is this a kitchen bathroom? <laughs> That's a kitchen bathroom. Oh, I caught someone. I caught a creature. I found Mr. Grin. Which means we gotta keep an eye out for Skitter Boy, Evil Skeleton, Cave Lad. Are these cryptids? <laughs> Cause I was I was with you for Skitter Boy and Mr. Grin, but then you just have a cryptid named Evil Skeleton. The bad one. Followed by Cave Lad. Followed by Mr. Grin 2. The Pit. <laughs> Bahunu Pass. Pass Eagle. Mr. Grin 3, the third one. The Flatwoods Monster, okay. Chef's Dark Ham. They warned us that there would be meat in this game and we didn't believe them. Evil bridge baby. Not to be confused with the normal bridge baby. We're going to sleep. Tomorrow's a big day. Lots of photos to be taken. Two days. Ah, beautiful day! A beautiful day! Another day, another dollar! Good morning, peep! All we have to eat here is potatoes. Wash up. Let's get out there. Two days what? Two days until the end of the game. Hello? I heard a laugh. Some say every morning, in Cowrie Bay, you can hear the, the horrible laughter of a creature, otherwise known to everyone, everyone that lives in the village as a cave lad. I'm gonna just take a quick sweep around to make sure I don't see cave lad. Dead. Cave lad? Well, keep an eye out, chat, because of the most dangerous cryptids on that list, Cave Lad is the most wily of all. Matter of fact, Skitter, Skitter Beast is just a friendly little guy, okay? But Cave Lad has murdered 18 people. So keep your wits about you, okay? Cave Lad is a dangerous creature. I'm checking behind my house. All right, we're clear. Everything's fine. Let's get let's get let's get out there. Keep your eyes peeled. You never know when you could run into evil skeleton too. Everyone knows that's another one of the most dangerous cryptids in the world. Good morning, sir. Hey Nicholas, here's today's package. Yep, welcome back. Enjoying the new wheels? I think I'm getting the hang of it. Good, because I just installed new hardware in it while you weren't looking. Now you go even faster. Whoa, that was quick. Yep. I see the road cones, the road cone are gone. I won't keep you for long then. Ask as many questions if you have them now. Ask your questions. Is there anything weird up there? If my memory serves me my, right, 
and which it does constantly, then there should be an old abandoned clock town. Tell you what, though, that clock always gave me the stink eye. Make sure you keep your eye on it. Clock tower, okay. I, I feel like I got it. I'm, hang on, I'm stuck in dialogue loops. I think I got it. Goodbye. I'm just gonna take a look around. You know me, Chad. I'm just looking around for, uh... Anything that could be... You know... Is that a hand? Yeah. Caitlin! Hey! Hey, you freak, you weirdo! Come... Poke your weird hand around the corner so I can get a good picture. Now. why we keep Cave's life contained behind two, sorry. Yeah, two layers of grates. All right, let's get out there now that the cone is gone. Time to get some work done. Time to get these deliveries made. So I was told to keep an eye on this clock tower because it's evil. But it seems okay. Then again, something about this whole town kind of gives me the creeps. Something about this whole place gives me the heebie-jeebies. Hours to minutes, door to door, the puzzle master. Hours to minutes. Well, that's not hard. There's as many... I mean... Let's not worry about this right now. Let's take a look around. Clock's at one. Clock's at eight. There's not enough build... There's so much like, stuff. So that's the thing. This game always labels... The, the, the disc... The demo disc... Haunted demo disc shit's always like... Yeah, dude! It's a bunch of demos, but in reality, it's like, yeah, dude, we made like fucking 18 games, dude. It's 18, we made 18 games, and we shoved them all into the thing. How's this? Let's make a delivery here. Oh, found new music. Let's give this one a listen. Notice, train is broken due to repairs, will be fixed later. Darn, I can't escape. It's Mr. Bones. Let's get the fuck out of here. Is that, is that the evil bridge, baby? Uh. Strange. Held up. I think I can jump it. I think I can jump into the river. I can totally jump into this. No, you can't. Never mind. Fine. All right, let's go ask around who we got to deliver these to. This music is too much. Time for the knock, 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 knock. That's odd. This door feels weird. What do you mean the door feels weird? Oh. I'll knock here next. Knock, knock. Mm 
Clock tower is acting real strange. Hey, I got a package? Are, are you the man that I, I have in, in my cryptid thing labeled as Dark Ham? Are you the Dark Ham monster? Ooh. Hey! This demo disc is haunted and cursed. Ooh. Big guy. Ooh. That's all I have to say to you, bitch. Whoa! What the f Fuck, who is this? Take a picture. Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck did you just call me? I'm gonna hit him with this. Site three. This place is very strange. don't know how to feel about it. I keep worrying that every moment I look away, the next moment I look somewhere, I will see it. The evil skeleton, the most powerful cryptid of them all. Set the plate for a midnight snack, then come back on Morrow for a heart attack. The puzzle master. Jesus, looks like something looks like something really had to go at this ground. Had to go at this ground. Something big. Yeah, something weird's going on in this place, chat. Wait. The cave. Oh. That was him. That was the cave lad. That was one of the most dangerous creatures of the entire valley, brought completely defeated by the flash of a simple. Oh, hang on. I should probably get this pushed over. He almost got me. I know, but I got him first. Am I too weak? Yeah. Oh, all right. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Let's just go. We're lucky to be alive after that encounter with the cave lad. Many people, thousands of people have died in this valley as a result of encounters with the cave lad. So we should be, we should be considering ourselves lucky that we didn't just have our final encounter with the lad. Let me just take a look over here quick at this vending machine. Whoa, another vending machine. I wonder if there's a guy who restocks it. One of the great mysteries of the universe. If this game doesn't scare the actual shit out of my ass in the next 30 seconds, we're going to the next one. It better baffle me. Oh, hang on. I got mail to do. Hello, ma'am. There's a package on behalf of North Star Delivery. Oh, you must be the new delivery girl. Enjoying the new wheels, are we? Whoa, are you like a psychic or something? Or like a stalker and a freak? Kid, take it easy. What the fuck? What are you, some kind of freak? What? I'm no freak. Nicholas returned my road cone just now, told me to expect you. Oh, that fool has swindled me out of my bonus delivery money. Oh, I guess I could have delivered the cone. Don't mind him, he's an enigma, but a good company nevertheless. Speaking about our neighbors, will you make sure to have a visit with Charlie up near the old mining district? Can't imagine how lonely it gets up there for a girl her age. Uh, sure. Miss B 
Beth's fine, dear. Well, okay then, Beth. Do you mind if I ask you some questions before I go? See anything weird going on? Tell you what, sometimes I'll be out on my evening scroll and I'll it's my evening stroll and I'll see this wooden skeleton. A little grotesque, but pretty nifty, all things considered. One day I was passing by it, I swear I saw it twitch. I didn't want to get any closer, but by God, if it didn't scare a sock off me, feel free to look into it, but be careful. Yeah, I'll take a look around for the weird skeleton. What's up, weirdo? Name your car. Uh, we'll just name it, um, little idiot. Yeah, I'm really just making it ugly fucking color. Yep, there it is. Yep, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Let's ride, little idiot. Let's ride. Keep your eyes peeled. We're looking for the evil skeleton, one of the most powerful creatures in the entire valley. What is this shit? <laughs> what is this trash? This music is trash. Wow, that's a big freaking rock. With some cryptic freaking runes. What a day this is. Zoomer character. Zoomer character is really pissing me off. This is a freaking, this freaking bullshit. I freaking hate this job. I freaking hate this place. This place freaking sucks. Everyone's cringe. These land- the landmarks these brands spark, seek them for a big shark. Metaphor. The Puzzle Master. That was him. That was some kind of evil skeleton. Next, next game, dude. It's a demo disc, dude. I'm not obligated to beat them. I'm obligated to give them simply moments of my time and then move on to the next one. Next. So I got, I got bolt cutters. I should probably use these. Dead doves. Locked. Not getting in there. In chain. Some kind of chain or something. Hang on. Let, before we do that, let's check the hallways over here. Let's take a look around. Hello? Hello? I can't open these doors. Can't open much of anything around here. Something's off. Dude, break the glass, man. If we're willing to cut the bolt, like the chains off of this, use your foot, use the palm of your hand, and just like smash your hand right through it. Wrap up your hand with like a fucking t shirt and break through this. the fuck just happened? Oh, I guess I'm just going crazy. Hello? Something's lurking in the darkness. Well, then we're not going that way. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Am I a haunty or am I a scully? Oh, I guess I'm a scully. All right, you think you're gonna fuck with me? I'll take you down. I will rip you up. All right, I swear to God. 
I found a quarter on the ground. I'm going to take that. Maybe I could unscrew it from the wall. Yeah, use the quarter. You could use a quarter to unscrew these. I'm looking at these. Unscrew it with the quarter. Right, we can't do it. Oh well. There's so much. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in this bathroom. We're just gonna grab. We got. Look, we got. We got some stinky wrench and we got some money. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Let's just go. We're getting out of here. We're leaving. We're not going to do anything over there either. We're just going to go. We're going to go this way. Safety hazard. You see, this isn't a problem for you short people. The people, the people among us that are, that are small. The wee, wee, wee lads. I could fucking die. And I could, I could die. All right. Because I'll tell you what happened. I walk up to this. Ow! I smash the glass. The bulb shatters. Okay. And then I get electrocuted. I die. Here. I die here. What the hell's going on in this fucking old weird ass mall? Place just gets weirder and weirder every other way. So kind of. I can't. Okay, I fixed it. All right, I fixed the steam. I guess I fixed. I fixed something. I always appreciate these like things that link the horror games together even though i mean at the end of the day i wouldn't mind just jumping into every single demo rather than spending all the time doing all these things and i know i can but i like to give them like a minute before i'm like i'm done finding stuff off of the ground i'd like to play the games now thank you <laughs> i've had enough all right, it's time. I'm going to the games. We're going to the actual games section because you can like just s go through the whole thing. Because we're never gonna beat all of it anyways. I just want to pick through the stuff I want to actually play. All right, Mortal Meal, be knighted. Already oh, played that one. Now let me turn all this down. The B one looks good. Gob, played that one. Haven't played that. Haven't played that. Haven't played that. Ten dead doves nowhere, Michigan. So chat, some people already know which games here are the hotness. Uh, which games here are like the, I absolutely have to play this right now. Uh, like first things first, cause I played Mothered. I know that one's one of the good ones. Play in chain. Ten dead doves. Ten devs doves. Okay, let's do ten dead doves then. Okay, a lot of people are saying that's like the really good one this year, so we'll do that. I'm going to bed. I don't know. Bad. I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to bed. Actually, this is the one I launched up to test the games. So I guess I just kind of knew. I always knew. New game. Look at how short he is! His feet don't touch the fucking ground, dude! His feet don't touch the fucking ground, he's tiny! Oh, look at your stumpy little feet, you fool!
<laughs> Hello? Hello? What's it? He's, I don't like the eyes. Right, well, let's get out of here. Let's ju let's just get the hell out of here. Let's just go. We'll just go. Dude, you gotta stop walking up to the cameras during these shots. You gotta. You got these weird dead eyes. You gotta, like, just stop looking at the cameras. You know that we're filming. Just stop. Don't come towards the cameras. They keep autopiloting towards looking right at the cameras. He's... He's... I think I, there's something off about him. I don't... I don't know. Think... What? What? Can't say again? What was that? Repeat that now? What was that sound? What was that? Hello? Jar Jar? <laughs> you know, you could actually tell one of the things that George Lucas was very clear about with Jar Jar Binks, with the design of Jar Jar, was his uncanny stench, horrible stench that would permeate everything around Jar Jar. You'd be able to smell him before you heard him, or before you detected him. You'd be able to smell him. <laughs> You'd be able to smell his horrible stench from a mile away. Jar Jar is, in fact, the key to everything. In, what was that? Hello? Hello? Something weird's going on in this strange abstract art piece chat. He can't read Spanish. Omega oh, lol. I took French. Okay? So you're right. I can't read that much Spanish. the hell's going on in this place? Ah, oh, yes. The hole. This adds up. Yeah, it's the hole. You know, the hole. Hello? A crack of thunder in the air around us pushed our wrists on this great manuscript. Dude. Gambling shakes of cloth and oil drapes for a muddled trail limps through the hall. The hell's going on in this place? What is all this? Hand. Key. Take. Key. Use. Key, yes. I don't like the eyes, dude. I don't like the. I don't like the fucking eyes. I really don't like the eyes. Fucking weird ass beady eyes. Can I approach this man? I cannot approach the man. What's this? It's a poem. I, uh, a, 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 a rack, a, a, a crack of thunder. Hang on, there's a read button. You know what? Fuck no. You know what? Fuck you, dude. I'm tired of this. I'm going to get it right without reading it. Give me a second. A crack of thunder in the air around us torched our wrists 
Okay. On his great manuscript. Shambling. Shambling. Shandling. Shambling. Shakes. Quake. Quake. Quakes. Shambling. Uh, I. 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 He literally said already. You think I'm out here memorizing what the ghoul says? Do you think I'm out here memorizing what the ghoul says? I'm not. This is what age 26 does to someone. Shut up now. Shut up right now. <laughs> what it what an interesting animation and like visual style. I feel like death. Yeah, and you look like it too. Damn. Here we are, the old uh, gas station. I like feel like it. Damn pretzel. Speaking of, we should probably stock up. Hey, does this guy remind anyone else visually in face and body shape wise of like Adam Driver? I don't want to say we're looping back to Star Wars again, but I keep getting Adam Driver vibes from this guy's whole build. Neither does the Zodiac Killer. And kind of his voice. What I'm trying to say is that any moment Jar Jar Brinks could escape and, it, and approach us from the darkness and we need to be ready. This seems to be the same world. Love the presentation of this game. Huh. If I was back 40, I'd name my store something real stupid, too. Eh. I like it. Miles, miles, motor oil and gasoline. Wow. Look at all that. Yo, Jet! The at the... The Owie, the Owie lottery is at $999 million right now. No one's ever won it. Not one person. The Owie lottery is at 999 mil. Dude, you gotta buy a ticket. You gotta. Can't imagine it's very aerodynamic. I think all the tires are actually, uh, octagons. Yeah. Those are octagonal tires. Never stop gambling. Chat, I, I can stop whenever I want. It's just I don't need to. Hey, Mark, Hell's Door is knocking. Keys are on the rack. Paying customers only. Oh, stomach is eating itself. Yeah, we're uh, pumped too. Aren't you guys a rest stop? Who makes a man pay for a bathroom? Dude, it's all woods. You can, you can, Don't I mean, I guess he's gotta take a shit. Oh, we are way past that point. I mean, you're gonna buy something. Who cares? You're buying stuff here. Is that hogs? Hang on, beeline it for the hogs. Go straight for the hogs. Actually, look at the lottery tickets first. Owie ball. You gotta. One billion dollars, chat. One billion fucking dollars. You win the alley ball, you're ready for the rest of your life. Wax mix. These always get stuck in my teeth. Grab some. You're out camping, dude. Grab it. Razor. I do not need anything cold. It makes my teeth hurt. What are you, weak? You got bad teeth? You poor little bastard. Got <laughs> weak, soft teeth. 
I can't drink anything cold. It's got to be room temperature. It hurts. 50-50 chance on this being fresh or not. I'll take it. That's a hog right there. A six pack of a locker cock. Stuff will get you through the night. A locker cock? I've never heard that. That's a new brand take. That's a take I never thought we'd get. I guess I'll grab some alaka cock. Now, let's check out. Go, I can check out now. Oh, I kind of want to talk to him. Who are you looking at? I I truly need to stress sir, I pressed the right click button. I was looking at you. Passing through. I'm looking at you. Just looking at those. Just looking at that fucking sweaty back. Just getting a good look at you, man. You know how it is. Just taking a look at those strong shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> you look tense. Uh, we just need supplies. We just need supplies. Some kind of cop. Yeah, we're, uh, I'm a detective. The word is detective? Yeah. Jesus. Funny guy. I'm a detective. I'm the law. Mm -hmm. Wonder if there's anything else I should do. Nah, we got it. Let's go. You have a good I day now. Y'all are looking for the amp on. Huh? You know that fence is there for a reason. The ant farm? Don't go learning something you can't forget. Hubble helps confirm oldest known planet. The ants. Hey, forewarning, I have no idea where this son of a bitch is. We'll find it. Easy for you to say. I'm the one driving. Yeah, what are you gonna do when we find it? Probably take care of my family. With ants? Have you told her? What's happening? Damn. Uh, how do you break something like that? It's like a butcher knife hanging over my neck. I wonder what it took to get those guardrails up here. That's a bit morbid, Sean. You know Did we I get a lottery ticket? I actually I fucking forgot. The Valley Authority. All right, tone it down. I forgot to get that. What are they talking Valley about? It's a demo, dude. I don't know either. We can ask questions, but I don't know. I don't know. Why do you care? And why is this guy wearing his backpack while driving? Just watch where you're going. Trust him about as far as I don't know. Wrong. He's not watching where he's going. He actively looked away instantly. You drink soda, but you can't drink tea. Just don't swear around my daughter. I'm not a Mormon. Oh, son of a... oh. Sorry. I just can't stop looking at their faces. I can't even pay attention good. to what's happening because I can't. I keep what, staring at their faces. No. The tank says AI e. made conversation. I could guess. <laughs> he looks like he's about to Rick. cry. He looked like he was about to fucking start sobbing. Start Did you Daylight. see him? Sean, we graduated from the Paleolithic era long ago. He looked like he was Whoa, about to start look at the crying. Big man with his Webster dictionary. At least I know how to S T O P. I can read, dude. John, what is the first? <laughs> What's happening? Kill everyone you meet. What's happening? This is a conversation between two AI characters. Not the first rule of hiking. I mean, when you're lost. I don't see how that's relevant. This is how people die, you know. Are you a dyer? Is he a fucking dyer, John? Or if you're scared. Are you a dyer? He's gone. 
What just happened? Dyer, rise up, arise. Well, I'm going the other way. I can't. We're gonna die out here, chat. Be back in the car. <laughs> he looks like he's about to cry. <laughs> he truly looks like any second now he's gonna start just bawling. That's dire behavior right there. He's stunned. Sean's old junker. Cheap buddies. Sean, we're gonna die out here, Sean. Sean is a fan of tacky vanity plates. Go fast. All right, well, it looks like we're out here tonight, Sean. Let's might as well make the best out of it. Might as well. Oh, I can't move. I get stuck? I got stuck. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. I haven't saved yet, dude! I haven't saved! Demo's over. <laughs> he said to stay put. I'm a dire. I'm a fucking dire, dude. I'm a dire, bro. I'm a fucking dire, dude. I'm gonna die. I got my foot stuck in a hole. I'm a dire. God damn it. I haven't saved. I'm gonna at least take. The, I'm gonna. I, I gotta restart. I'm gonna see if I can load and if it loads me like at a normal spot. Otherwise, it's gonna. Oh my god. People are saying this one's really good and I was having fun with it. But it did fucking put me in this hole. So I guess I have to restart the whole thing. I guess I'm okay, here's what we do though. Here's how we what we do. Give me a second. We're gonna channel the power of our greatest of tools. And this might even be interesting. Uh, cheat engine, six times speed. Skirt! 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 Hang on, this part's gonna be kind of precision. Grab it. Open it. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Let me know when your tongue. Yeah. And you look like it. Speaking of, we should. Who the. Neither does the. It's about as simple as that, chat. We're already here. We're good. We're good. I like it. I'm not defeated by things like crashes anymore. We're basically back. I'm just grab my stuff from the uh, tables now. Dude, shut the. All right, hang on. I gotta fix this. This drives me crazy. I cannot believe to this day that Windows constantly re enables system sounds. The ugliest, most worthless shit on Windows. I will, I will happily take any fucking thing Windows ever gives me as long as they never enable my fucking system sounds every time I fucking mute them. I swear to God. Drives me crazy. Cause I, it happens whenever you use a cheat engine. Whenever I disable my the turbo, it makes a sound. Shut up. Oh, actually we can read this cause we missed it before. We missed this. Hubble helps confirm oldest known planet. NASA has confirmed today the discovery of one of the universe's oldest known exoplanets, PSR B162026, nicknamed Methuselah. Egg of wheat, thanks for the 25 gifted subs. Thank you very much, egg of wheat. 
The new Hubble findings close a decade of speculation and debate as to the true nature of this ancient planet, which takes a century to complete an orbit. Okay, the planet is 2.5 times the mass of Jupiter. Whoa, it's like an ultra planet or something. The hell? All right, well, I'd like to check out. If I'm ready to go, I can check out now. The audio... I... Okay, options don't exist. I was going to go into the options to see if I could turn up the voice acting. I know y'all are looking for the amp arm. Because for some reason, the audio bouncing you is kind of weird. Don't go learning something. Forewarned, Will. Easy for you and yeah, probably. Have you told her? Dang, uh, it's like a butcher. No I wonder. That's a, you know what I'm. Up in the Tennessee Valley. Charlie's not some old boat. Trust him about his score. Did you know that it just? I'm not a. <sighs> that doesn't quite your own. No. Can I get gas? <sighs> Sean, we grow. Whoa. At least I, I can. John, kill every Stay. I don't. This is how big you can wait in the car if you're scared. I'm not scared. Alright, I'm gonna save my game. Okay, cool. I'm not going into the woods anymore. I'm not touching trees. I'm gonna follow the road. Let's not get distracted. Hey, man. We gotta go. We gotta get out of here. We're gonna die out here if we don't... They see you've joined me on my death march. You wanna be up front? <laughs> Good idea. I'll hit all the trip wires for you. Yeah, yeah come on. You're paranoid. Come on, let's just follow Unless the road. somehow a different Sean, I think I'm better safe than sorry. Come on. Come on, we're just gonna go. We're, go we're gonna be dyers, I guess, Chet. I guess we're gonna be dyers. We're gonna be dyers today. We're going out to die. Come on, Sean. We're just gonna walk away from our car. You weren't even walking the right way. What? The left side of the road against traffic. What, you want me to stroll or two? Oh, I guess I should do that if I'm going to yell at them about it. All right, come on, we're going to the left side. That's against traffic. Good. That's the rules. We know the rules. Oh, we're not dyers, chat. That's one thing people are going to know about me is we're not dyers. I'm taking this trash. Come on. We're not going to die. No one's dying today. Come on. And Sean, keep your wits about you. I don't want you to be a dyer. Come on. Been a long time since my ears popped like this. That's the spirit. Let the wind carry you through the mountains. Ant farm or bust. We've not. Give our elevation has not changed. What's this? Knock on wood. How fan the fanfare. Sean and Mark, rugged mountain MacGyvers. The ladies will love it. Why, well, gonna get your first kiss? The dialogue no is so kissing? strange, but I'm kind of enthralled bitch. by it. In a way. The dialogue is so strange. It truly feels like it was actually written by AI. I think it fits. With how weird the visuals are. How fantastic is Samtastic Fams? The hair cutting man? This fantastic. I'm... What's this an ad for? <laughs> Wait, wait, what's this an ad for? <laughs> is this an ad for me or is this an ad for someone's haircut place? That's a steak. That's a steak. I'm... We will buy you a pound of choice steak to try our choice services. This coupon worth $2.75 of any of our choice hairstyles. It's a haircut. Okay, so this is an ad for a haircut place where if you go to get a haircut, they will also buy you a steak. At Fantastic. Sorry. Samtastic Fams. Okay. I feel like we should take this. We'll leave it. Well, I guess we'll go this way, but I'm going to collect all this trash as I do. Might as well take care of the uh, environment. What's all this? World of Mystery, the Appalachian Ant Mill. Some months ago, I detailed reports of a missing teenager in the deep forested zones of eastern Appalachia, which had been motivated by a particularly puzzling set of photos from a reader in Pennsylvania. 
That article, while unknowingly peppered with inaccuracies and hearsay, of which I apologize to my readership for, did generate a substantial amount of interest from the local backpacking community. In response, I received letters, charts, and even strongly worded warnings about an unexplained concrete structure supposedly tucked into the deepest woods and jutting out from the mountain cliffs, a monument whose hallways and paths spiral endlessly from a single point. Its place in local town lore has given it somewhat of an urban legend status, and the theories on its origin and purpose vary wildly. Such examples given as a hotbed of extraterrestrial life, a permanent CIA black site, a place where the laws of man and nature cease to apply, a headquarters for various secret cabals, leaders, politicians, and prophets, a place where all dreams come true, an entrance to the underworld, and most interestingly of all, a failed water park whose owners scammed the local city council into funding an impossible dream and bailed once the check cleared. Regardless, the structure's endless paths and death spiral of discussion has resulted in it being given quite a colloquial name. The Ant Farm. Alright, so well, that explains the Ant Farm. I'm glad no one has to ask me one more fucking time what the Ant Farm is. Can we all shut the hell up now? Can everyone shut the fuck up? Now that we got that lore out of the way, we're going to the water park. That's what this has always been about. It's always been about the water park. Come on. Miles, Miles. Are we walking back to Miles, Miles? Three miles to go? I'm not walking three miles. I'm cutting through the woods. Do you have a drop of- Three miles is not that bad. No. But I have legs that are faster than yours. Wrong. I'm taller, slightly. We're are walking. You seriously gonna walk that? I was considering it. Come on. I'm carrying the pack. You should be fine. All right, fine. It's not like we're gonna crest the hill and all of a sudden find a giant concrete superstructure known as the ant mill just laying there. Man, I'm just gonna get ticks, dude. Out here I'm just gonna get ticks. We got That's dozens of ticks. On. I always meant to hike up here. Well, above all else, I'm a promise keeper. I'm gonna save the game. I'm paranoid for bugs. Also, options. Hang on. This is, a. Uh, have been noticing, for some reason, the dialogue is a lot lower than the game. So I'm just gonna, like, kind of adjust it myself. Bring both of those down a third to bring the game up. WHAT THE HELL IS THAT THING?! Oh my god. Oh my god. It's some kind of chair. It's a stepladder. How about you stay where the hell you are and don't make any sudden moves or it's gonna be the last thing you ever do. What the hell do we do now? What? It's just... It's... Hey, you good? It's just a stepladder. It's a stepladder. <laughs> he looks like he's about to cry. Do you want to go back? You want to go? We should go back. We should go back. <laughs> What's on his face? Oh my god. No. There is no going back. There's no going back. Let's get the fuck out of here. Come on, John. It's very presence on nerves, man. The hell's that? Something's wrong. Something's off about this whole fucking place. Come on. Come on, John. Hey, if we find a jerry can, I can siphon the gas out of a car with my mouth. You know how fucking gross and fucked up and stupid that is, dude? Stop. Uh, don't, don't, plus, also, you need a hose. You can't just, you can't just do the siphon with a jerry can. 
You fucking idiot. You need a hose. You would need a hose. What's in this strange hole? I bet you ten dollars to put your head in that thing. I'd do it. Do I look that desperate? I'd do it for ten. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, I'd immediately put my whole head in there. I'd climb in there for ten dollars. Something feels... off. Yeah. Something weird's going on. That sucker's buzzing. I'm not trying to grill today. Danger! Various safety precautions are pasted onto the side. Alright, Chad, looks like we're not going this way. What with the electric fence? We'll probably find a breach in the perimeter, like, right here. Is what I'm guessing, and we can just navigate on in that way. That electric fence. It stretches along the entire road. Oh my god. Is that always there? How would you know, dude? Have you guys ever been here? Looks like we're not getting gas from that. We should phone for help. Wait. What the hell's going on? Wait, but this is Miles Miles. Miles? 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 What the hell happened here? Miles? Something's up. Something weird's going on. Gone, Gone to, to fix, fix generator. generator. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, come find me. Well, we can't phone for help if there's no power. Oh my god. It's that fucking stepladder we saw. It must have been do it must have done this. What is all this? Caution. Fuck up, Sean. I'm trying to figure out what the hell's out there. Shut the hell up. Caution. The hamburger dough killer is an unknown adult male of large stature and reported strength. Wanted for the cruel and animalistic murders of several young hikers along the Appalachian Trail from 1987 to 1998. Refrain from hitchhiking and stay within pre-approved trails. That's... That's a picture of him! We should... We should probably get out of here. Chad. We should probably... It's a mess in here. We should probably go. Because I think I've seen that man before. Let's just... Let's just check behind the building. Real quick. Locked. There's gotta be a key around here somewhere. Hello? Something, anyone in the trash? There's just trash in the trash. These are the keys, keys to the gas station. Why are they in the dumpster? Fucking who cares? Take them. Again. If the power was working, we could phone for help. We should probably get that power on ASAP. He's the operator. And why do I keep hearing ghoul I keep hearing like ghoulish moans? Well the cash register still works. I'm hearing some moans. Generator. I think this is with the shed out back. Grab it. Let's get the fuck out of here. Boo! What the fuck is your problem, Sean? You could have been killed! You know how much training I have in Croft Baga? I could have taken you down, Sean. I would have grabbed your noodly little fucking neck and I could have thrown you. You have no idea how powerful I am. Have you seen the size of my torso? <laughs> I could have broken you in half. And you're laughing. Come on. Fucking hate your guts right now. 
no idea how pissed off I am. Miles? You better be dead or dying in here, I swear to God, I know Croft Maga. I'll wait out here. Yeah, you go ahead and wait out there. I gotta do what looks to be a basic puzzle of some kind. We can make the dreams come true. All right. Can of some kind of weird drink. A strange system of panels. What a strange system of panels. If I can fix this, it might reset the electricity. What a fascinating thing to find. Interesting. This whole time, the ant farm's been hiding in plain sight. Ant farm vault wall. Are you sure this is like evidence of anything? Some sort of fuse. Looks like it controls this place. The vault. It doesn't seem to be broken. The power is diverted to a different source. It's so easy. Where did you learn to fix that? A magician never reveals their secrets. It's so easy. All right, all right. Go write your manifesto. What? What? <laughs> what did he just fucking say? He said the word. Oh my god, he said it. Chat, you guys don't think the Vindicator's out here, do you? It's it's getting pretty dark, huh? Had a map. It's been here all along. What? Oh my god! Shit! It's the stepladder. Why don't you just come out now? Okay. I'll have you know I'm armed. I'll have you know I'm armed. I have weapons, vast weapons. I have multiple weapons and tools that could be used to dispatch someone. I I know Grog Okay, and I will use it to Are you something just noise? slithered across the screen. What noise? I love the faces. What was that? What was that sound? What was that sound? Oh, what the fuck? There's a tree in the way. I can't get in. Oh my god! Hell? That was a living tree! Run! Oh, wait, we're running! We're running! That was actually really scary! Run! Run! We're gonna get the fuck out of here, man! The tree's alive! Jesus Christ! Oh my god! It actually scared the shit out of me! <laughs> throw me! Hurry, it's getting closer! Throw me! Throw me! Dude, come on, pull me up! Come on, move it! <laughs> Why did he grab his ass when he got zapped? Did he shit his pants? Oh no, he shit his pants. Does that the zap shit his pants? Charlie? Charlie! Keep your voice down! What are you trying to do? Get me killed? How long was I out? Oh my god. A while. F burnt my hands though. Oh my god. god. Damn Valley Did you shit your pants? I dreamt you shit your pants. I think it's gone. You think now? That was like a giant yeah, stick bug or I something. Do. This is news to me, you know, considering we're separated by a live current. It's electricity, dumbass. What am I supposed to do? Fly like a bird and come get you? I don't know. Oh, there's a bird. Like that. Just go back and fix the generator again. Oh, no. I did it easy. What now? There's got to be another way around. I guess I'll have to go to the ant farm myself, man. It's been, it's really been a pleasure, though, having you on the team. Don't fucking follow me. Don't fucking follow me. Don't follow me. Why is he following? He's following. 
Holy shit. This has got to be the work of Hamburger Dough. Oh my god. Not funny. You think Hamburger Dough came? Two hikers alone in the forest? Mysterious happenings? Oh my like god. Your ass. You really don't think it's the Hamburger guy though, right? You, you're just joking around, man. You're just making a laugh about it. You're making a little laugh about it there, trying to get me all jumpy. Well, have you know I know Krav Mugund, and I will take anything down that comes my way. I swear to God, I could kick hamburger dough through this electric fence, okay? I could. And I will. Hang on, I gotta click into the can. That's Sean. He's my best friend. Aww. Uh, Who are you talking to? Nothing. He doesn't know. He doesn't know about the others. The ones that I talk to in my head. He has no idea about the dark secrets I have. So, you're the big pants now. What next? My pants are big. Do I have a choice? <laughs> this is all he does. Just thousand yard stare. Do I have a choice? Never do. Looks like this bitch goes on for a while. Whatever it's here for. I get it. We're stuck. The fence is either for dude. outside. Dude, chill out, there. man. What the fuck? Shit, call. Out. Let's all cool it. Let's to. calm have down you a little today? bit. BS. BS meaning yes, or BS meaning no. Just help me out here, I'm freezing my ass off. Here, take old reliable. Best shanker this side of the Mississippi. Best shanker this- catch knife? Hand me the knife. I mean catch the knife. Shit. Wrong side. You're lucky this fence is here. I'm- Gonna follow that wall and see if there's. Are you my guy? That was a me it. levels like Catch throw. That was all of your strength. That's like that. Pa that transcends a joke and is like a. I don't care if we fucking die out here. Move. That was a truly. I don't care if we die. That was a bed's phone moment. <laughs> oh my god. John? John? John, what happened? John! Fell in a hole. Oh. Nothing to see here. Okay. It's fine. It's fell in a hole. I was worried something happened. Let's so go check this giant concrete structure. A wall that stretches for miles. No Sean, no supplies. This is a nightmare. Put off this cool, cool. Sean! But what happened to Sean? This isn't funny! Pooh. No! No! I actually wanted to keep Sean's playing this one really bad. The dialogue was weird as shit in this game, but I thought it worked for it really well. Hello. Hi. Thanks for playing our demo. This is Mark Byram 2. And Sean Michael Millard. We're making the game you're playing right now. If you enjoyed and want to see our game completed, you can wishlist 10 dead doves on Steam. By the way, I'm a fictional oh my character. God. If you don't, I will cease to exist. Oh my god. I mean, technically we're real people too, but... Oh my god, wait, you're right. Please wishlist and follow 10 Dead Doves on Steam. Oh, speaking of, we have a website and Twitter, too. Oh my god. Y yes, oh god, please follow us also. We should be good now, but... Don't... Alright, let's check out the next game. That one was great. I wish I had gone longer. All right, what's the next really good one? What's like the next hotness? Because we know there's hot ones. We know there's ones that are stinky poo-poo garbage. All right, that's not fair. But there are ones that are going to be better for this. Enchained. People are saying Enchained. I think other people are also saying Nowhere in Michigan. Yeah. 
Enchained. Enter the gub. Alright, let's check out Enchained. A frenetic FPS inspire adventure inspired by Dark Souls and Quake. Uncover a deprived world with hidden secrets, paths, enemy. Sure, let's check it out. Sure. Take a look around. FOV defaulted at a hundred. I love. I I love to see it. I love to see that. I absolutely love to see that. I love to see that. I love to see that. Okay. Hello. I'm in the crypt. Hold. All right. We got crouches. This one looks cool. Where the hell am I? <laughs> That's me. Look, I'm a little guy, a little skeleton man. I'm the small skeleton. Uh, but what do you want me to... What do you want me to do? Oh, I can jump. Oh, okay. Okay. Right mouse button to throw. Hold right mouse button to grapple. R or tab or... Okay. 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 Interesting, interesting. Hit with hook to juggle in air. All right. Interesting. Hold right mouse button after juggle to grapple. What the fuck? Hit with hook to juggle in air. What is going on? I mean, it's interesting. It's just like, what is... R while grappling to pull. Okay. It's an interesting fucking mechanic. I'm not sure what the what we're going for right now with it though. Who would hook juggle in air? Pull it. Pull it. Release right mouse button while grappling to throw. The hand arises. And digs away. Oh my god! You're fucking back in your crypt. Fucking moron, you fool. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here now. Get the fuck out of here. Think you're gonna come out of your hole. Come out of your crypt. Get the fuck out of here. Piece of shit. Oh, you want some too? Bop. Get the fuck out of here. What do you think you're fucking doing in here? Get the fuck out of here now. How about you stay over I think I stuck him to the ceiling. Wait. He's alright. Get the fuck out of here. Wake up. Get the fuck out of here. Get in. <laughs> it's just it's just bullying people. I'm just it's just a game of me picking people up and being like, get, 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 and just fucking throwing them into each other. You're mine now. Oh, did you hit him? Stop, dude. The fuck out of you! Stop it now! It's just a bu I'm just bullying people. The game. This one's just bullying the game. But I like the mechanic. Hold R to spend links and replenish health. Okay. Okay. It's an interesting fucking mechanic. I don't know if I'm gonna beat this whole one because I kind of, in these kinds of streams, more of enjoy like atmospheric stuff than action games. But this one's cool. We're probably gonna move on pretty quickly once I've like seen like the gist of the actual mechanical stuff. But uh, it's a cool fucking idea. I was not very inclined to do like games like this for these kinds of demo streams. Though it is fucking funny to pick up a strange man and throw him at another man. Hurting them both greatly, and then grabbing the other man in midair and throwing him at, like, I don't know, that man. 
and grabbing him again and throwing him at that guy and just kind of blowing people up. I'm guessing I get a cool gun or something soon. I'm gonna wait around for at least that. Don't worry, I'm not gonna like bail out before I get like the tool, the other tool. Just <laughs> bullying this guy. I don't even think he wanted to fight me. He just like crossed his hands and he was like, what are you, why are you doing this? And then I beat the shit out of him. Stop this now, please. I do like it though. Okay, I got some kind of key. Did he fully heal? Okay, well, he's dead now. Fucking do die already, man. Okay. Poor guy. I like the sound. I like. I, I like a lot of this. Uh, yeah. Hold right mouse button to grapple wood, then move to swing. I'm excited for this as a finished game. Uh, this one's really unique. Ugh, although I'm not very good at this. I'm not very good at the grapple. Okay. Grapple and pull lamp post to mark your resting place. Very good. Very good, just like a Metroidvania. Beautiful Metroidvania. Okay. Just some weirdo in a crypt hitting people with with lamps. That's the whole game. I'm just I'm just the asshole in this one. I don't feel like I'm in danger. Oh, here we go. All right, let's see. Let's see here. I don't have a bullet. Hold R or tab or press Y while grappling enemy to harvest ammo. Okay, let's see how this works, because this is the other mechanic. Have I harvested your ammo? Eight bullets. Okay. Alright, now I get it. I it was feeling like it was missing something till that happened, and now it's like, okay, I don't have to just smack people to get to get my damage in. I can shoot someone, I can gun them down. Oh yeah, now it's now it's feeling better. Who the hell are you? Oh, the guys respond. That guy. Grab his bullets. It's got that ultra kill style slide move. Although it's one of those games that this is like that kind of game that I would never ever stream. Because I'd want to just like play it off stream and not have people be like, he doesn't know how to aim, he sucks at video games, dude. I fucking hate him. But it is very cool. I'll I'll give it that. It's it's very cool. I'll fucking die already. It's very cool. Alright, we're gonna move to the next game though. Next one on the list. Earth stepped. Next game. Because we don't have a ton of time tonight. What next? Because we have be knighted. We have mortal meal. I don't know what this one says. We have some future reality game. It's like a racing horror game. Already played that one. Gob is kind of nice. Nowhere in Michigan. Let, let, hang on, let's give the B, let's hang on. We've been looking at the B this whole time. After tragedy destroys her hive, a bee is stranded in a hunter's trap during an intense thunderstorm. Meet friends and foes, discover treasures and traps, and traverse the dangerous caverns in this adventure. 
It's got bugs. Bugs. All we have a bug alert on this one. I'm not sure this is a horror game. It might just be a bug game. <laughs> this one might just be a bug game. It might just be bugs. Beyond the guarded walls of marbled spires and lofty keeps, an elder wood waxes upon an earthen throne. Bugs are horror. True. Bearing a spiked crown atop a leafy brow and drinking of the rivers tainted by eons of strife. It is an age of untamed wildness, of danger and discovery. All this for B game? I build this much lore for the B game? Eons of of strife for the B game? What do you mean? What's wrong with that? I'm just saying, like, it just feels like. Guys, calm down. It's a beehive. I can see what they're doing. Oh, wait, never mind. I saw a beehive in the shot. I thought they were aiming at a beehive. They were actually aiming at this horrible giant creature. Pink Chan! Don't try it. All of my people are dead. Every single one of my people died right there. Everyone died. Everyone I know died. Every single person I knew and loved died in an instant because a big guy used a beehive as a weapon to kill these random fools. That was the day time ended for my people. That was the day that the passage of time ceased. The days stopped. The, 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 oh my God, we're down here. We're in the hole. So I can just fly, huh? Apparently, I cannot fly that well. Every single one of the people in my in my hive was horribly destroyed. Welcome to the demo for Be Knighted. Here are a few actions you can perform to get you started. A bee can hover by pressing the space bar, okay? The bee can interact with objects by pressing E. Uh, you can right click to dash. Okay. Tap! It's like Dark Souls. It's just like Dark Souls, chat. I've got my dash move. Hello? Okay. Okay, I don't think I can fight. My character also f crucially cannot jump. I can't get elevation. I need to be so clear, my character cannot jump. They have zero ups, they only have horizontal. They have no vertical. The best I can do is hover places. Oh my god, it's over. We got there. We got there. We got there. We got there. What happened? Dude. <laughs> I think I killed whatever was in there. Chamber of Conquest. Gaze in wonder at the spoils of conflict garnered by the bugbear ant monarchs of old. Be wary of toothworms. What is there stealth in this game? You can hold shift to walk quietly. I think I wasn't supposed to fall down here. 
A platformer with no jump? This really is a horror. Dude, I have wings, dude! I... Hang on, I just have to climb. Uh, manually. Oh, that's a toothworm. It was unable to defeat me. The toothworm was completely unable to keep up. It's like a Zelda kind of game. Uh, I'm kind of interested in rapid firing through demos that don't immediately grab me with something incredible. So unless I'm gonna give this game uh, exactly 72 more seconds. And then we're moving on to the next one. Uh, that's all it gets from me. Because... Up. Up. This one actually launched Steam VR, which is an immediate uh, uh, five points deducted. This game, this one launched Steam VR and then fucking messed up my entire webcam and everything. My entire computer is in shambles. Gob? Oh, I love them! Oh! Oh, I love the presentation of this game. I love the presentation of this game. This is my favorite game. My fridge is stuck. <sighs> Guess I'll have to navigate into the crypts. Do you just open your toilet and look into the bowl? Toilet work! I think I found a lighter. <laughs> what are you doing with that goblin, Chan? Gop! <laughs> goblin Chan, what are you doing with that lighter, man? Put that... Put that down, man. What the, I love this. Absolutely love this one. Love this one. I don't know what's going on in it, but I love it. He burns it. He burns it. He burns it. He opens the thing. All right. He collects the can. <laughs> and now he has a lighter and it. Locked. Foiled again. Classic goblin. Why is my character like willing to throw this stuff? Oh, I see. I get it. So if I press Q, I can pick up with one hand. If I press E, I can pick up with the other. That may it makes sense. What do I do about the weird sink? Nothing. Not much of anything. I have two hands, two hand gameplay chat. We have two hand gameplay in the goblin. But alas, we've now reached a point where I do not know what to do. Alas, we have now reached the point where the goblin has no idea how to live their life. Eh. This is like an episode of Hoarders. Well, we've got some kind of goo on the door. We have some kind of goo on the door which is going to cause... Oh, wait, hang on. Wait, hold up!
I'm investigating. Is there a way that I can use the items together? I don't think so. I am, to be clear, the presentation of this game is absolutely fucking stellar. Uh, unbelievably, st like, st what a, what a, what excellent presentation. Oh my god. I just wish I knew what to do now. I just wish I wasn't an idiot. Throw lighter in toilet. Throw lighter in toilet now. Oh, I lost the can. Oh, I actually think I fucked up. I, I, I accidentally threw the can and I think it disappeared. I think the can's gone. I think it's over. I think Goblin dies in his house, alone, and without anyone ever knowing he was alive at all. I think he's dead. See, I'm just so bad at point and click games. <laughs> I'm just so bad at point and click games and now the can's gone and Goblin's gonna die. And the, 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 the horrible music It's not at the bottom of the stairs, people are yelling bullshit, that's not true. The can's gone. Blind streamer. Chat. Oh, it's not at the bottom, it was in the middle of the hall. I am willing to take advice on how to be like what I'm supposed to do here because we're doing demos and I'm not really here to play the whole thing. So backseating is allowed for this because I'm not going to otherwise actually beat it. Keybinds maybe? I can't check the keybinds. Because when I open the escape menu, it pulls open my my iPod. My i my iPhone. There's a chair thing next to the fridge. You mean this? People just say fucking anything, dude. My and I think the can's on the other side of the door now. I I think that time I actually I did fuck it up that time. Uh, that time I fucked it up. The can's on the other side of the door. It's over. <laughs> Gob, Gob, in an attempt to solve this this mystery, managed to throw the can onto the other side of the door. Gob dies. Gob dies. Gob dies. Gob dies. Gob dies. Go back to sleep. R.I.P. Gob. Goddamn American hero. Goddamn American hero. Bye. And there goes the lighter. <laughs> Let me out of this prison cell now! <laughs> fucking jazz music starts fucking playing, dude. <laughs> Next game. We go to the next game. What is the next quality product here to play? I think perhaps Mortal Meal. You are dead, but your soul remains in an increasingly nightmarish world. Who were you? What will you uncover with the time you have left? Can you avoid the harvest of your soul? Goblin Council made this one sure gobs
kind of like performance mode more than base game mode. Yeah, watch out. We got blood and gore and flashing lights in this one. Be aware. Be aware. Be aware? Wrong game, bozo. Wrong game. Being taken around, huh? Do I play a little dog? Do I play a dog or do I play... Do I play living meat? I li I play meat. I play a ghost. That was eaten by a dog. Oh no. <laughs> I have returned back to this mortal coil. Yes, I have unfinished business. Who wants to be a good boy and move out of the way? No? Well, it was worth a shot. He's blocking the way out and it seems I'm too solid to get past. I'll have to distract him. You're telling me I can't get past this dog as a ghost? As a ghost. I cannot get past the dog because I am, well, I have to pick up my old meat so I can bait the dog away with this old meat. Hey, here. Get on out of here, little guy. Hello? Can you help me? Hello? I don't think he can hear me. Either that or he's an asshole. Maybe both. I'm just I'm just playing as a ghost. Pretty rare that you play a horror game where you just That's a good picture. Dude, come on. I'm a ghost, let me through the wall now. I'm a ghost, let me through here now. Oh, there's the employee of the month right there, you can tell. Yep, that's Angelo's bistro right there. Angelo, he was one of the best. What have we here? To all staff, the freezer combination changed to 1077. Please do not leave this lying around for someone to find Angelo. <laughs> Please don't leave it lying around for a ghost to find, more like. I'm in. What kind of dark secrets will I find inside? The That's a big key. Yeah, I'll take this. I'll be taking this. Ghosts need codes. Bro? I need you here now to help me. Something's gone wrong. See, everything's all weird and messed up and shit. And floaty. Place is fucking haunted as hell. Oh, hello. Yeah, nah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. This ain't my time. This ain't my time. This ain't my time. This ain't my time. It's not my time yet. I just checked the clock. I still have more time. Uh, I'm gonna go. Help me. Oh, God. 
Angelo, please! So you tell me this is a... Damn, dude, that guy got out of there super fast, bro. Angelo, no! We need to get the fuck out of here now. Cash for flowers. I think I've been here before too. I was trying to get his alias for someone important, but they just said they'd give me 50 cents for each. Cash for flowers. <laughs> so it, it means they buy flowers for cash. I see. Clean suits. Owner of the store always creeped me out, gave me such a sinister vibe. Weird. Blood trail from my heart picks up here. Maybe if I find my body, I can figure out more about what's going on. Let's check the old computer store. Old PC repair store. Yep, that thing takes a bobble like no one's business. It's a cheap little souvenir bobblehead from Albany. Oh yeah. You'll never need to upgrade this PC. Killer speed with churd. <laughs> 16 megabytes of RAM on the churd system. Watch out. We've got the churd system here. That's churd speed. Yo, they got churred at this fucking business, dude. Dill, eight megabytes of RAM. Go ahead, take a bite. I like this game. Dear Terry, you owe me $5 for replacement keys again. I don't care how funny the number may be. Stop typing it so much, birdie. Wait. Welcome to Digidoor 500. To start unlocking your door, you will need to correctly answer three security questions to confirm your identity, okay? What computer brand in the store has the most RAM? Churd. Pathetic. What's my favorite vacation destination? Albany. Easy. What number am I thinking of? 69. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. It's not rocket science. It's 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 basic affordable computer engineering. Oh my god. Even the churred PCs have broken down. Whatever the hell's after us right now, Chad, it's powerful. Wow, two floppy drives? What could be better than this? We need to go. We need to go right now, into the woods, before he comes after us. Okay, the, this place is extra cursed. Is all of this blood just from my heart? Guess I had more than I thought. Where the hell did I die? Where the hell's that weirdo that was after me? What is that? It looks like the ground is splitting open. It's gonna go around that. Fucking goblins? Hello? I thought I saw little goblins scampering. But it, maybe it was just in my head. I thought I saw El Goblinos crawling around. Little weird things. But that's not possible. Okay, you know what? That didn't actually get me that bad, but it only got me because I thought about the Dove game, and I definitely think that game had a grade A 
jump scare and enemy animation. You know, sort of like uh, Poppy's Play Time game or whatever the fuck it was. Uh, that same kind of like really smooth, creepy animation just makes something really uncomfortable. I'm still thinking about it. That didn't get me. That didn't. That didn't. That didn't get me, Chad. I was just thinking of a, of the other one. All right. Is he shrinking? I'm not shrinking. I'm being grabbed by hell. All right. This place is more dangerous than I believe. It's happening again. All right. Don't go near the holes. Just don't go near the holes. We'll avoid them. What's this? I don't like that. I don't, I don't want to deal with that. We can go around that. I don't want to go near that mole. See, Chad, at, le at the very least, one good thing right now is that I haven't bumped into that strange creature that sucked the soul of that other guy right up. That slurped it right up. That hasn't, I haven't seen him. I think we might have lost him. I think we might have gotten him off our trail. State your name, creature. It's a goblin. In these woods? Ow, you fucking ass! He actually attacked me! I thought he was gonna talk to me, I was so convinced! He's actually trying to kill me, he's trying to kill me. Oh, there's more than one. <laughs> There's like a ma we're in a massive we're in a massive clearing of nothing but these small goblins. We're in some kind of village. Dude, the first thing I would do if I saw a ghost isn't oh my god, isn't like headbutt it. I'll tell you that much. Nice miss. Maybe we'll find one that's friendly at some point. Why is this cursed forest just behind the church store? I don't fucking know. Oh my god. That's my dead body! No. No. Well, that's me. Minus my heart, anyhow. And yet I'm still kind of here. Why? Maybe I can piece together what happened. It's my wallet. Hopefully there's something useful inside. Damn, no ID. Might be able to learn something from the other stuff in here. <laughs> what the fuck? Who is this? <laughs> I just got a picture of, like... Someone that's really happy looks to be a chef, maybe. A ticket for something called the rat ring. And the uh, photo of a gnome. I like this creepy little gnome. <laughs> I fucking love this little, this little weird guy. It seems like this photo was taken somewhere around town. It's an old concert ticket for a band called Rat Ring. Wait a second, I definitely recognize this person. It must be someone important to me if I got this picture. Vitamin K, thank you for the five gifted subs. Very kind. Thank you, thank you. It's still corked. I guess it wasn't po I guess I wasn't poisoned. There are two glasses. Was I here with someone? Not quite as handsome as I once was. So all we have to go off of right now is that I like gnomes. I like a band called Rat Ring, and I know somebody. Hang on, there's something here. How romantic, I wonder if MC or SO can help me out here. Oh my god, it's all coming together. Wait, how could I not have thought of this before? I'm going. Minecraft. Main character, Master Chief. Oh no. Ah! Ah! Oh. 
We lost him. Ah! Oh my god! Ah, <laughs> uh, what the fuck was the gnome for? Why is it how it ends? I have so many questions and not one of them is ever going to be answered. Ever. Probably. And there's still a gnome. And there's still a gnome. Gnomes always foretell disaster. Gnomes always foretell disaster. You're right. You're right. You're right. Well, that's mortal meal. That was mortal meal. Not sure if we're going to do much more. Uh... I may save the rest, or I may go through the rest off stream and save them for a variety horror night when that comes up. Because I think tomorrow, I, I'm pretty sure at this point now, D&D is canceled for tomorrow. Not tonight. Uh, so I think tomorrow is going to be the long stream because I'll be doing stuff with Dave. Almost positive we're canceling D&D. Uh, yes, postpone. We're postponing tomorrow. So there's no D&D tomorrow, so we're gonna have today be the shorter stream so I can get some stuff done for D&D. Because that's just how that maths out. So yeah, uh, these were fun. I I always like these little, like these demo disc things. Uh, none of them were particularly scary, but they were very fun. I had a lot of fun playing all these and I'm interested in seeing their final products. Obviously, whenever you're doing a bunch of demo stuff, uh, there are gonna be a lot of cliffhangers and uh, you're never going to really see as much as you want to see, but I always love seeing. It's a good chance for me to shop around for stuff I'll stream when they're done. Uh, and uh, you bet your ass I'm going to play that 10 Doves game as soon as it's done. Uh, that one, that one's something. Uh, that one's definitely, that was the something out of this one. Uh, also, to be fair, half the games in this, uh, well, at least some of them, I've already played and I already really liked. Like, Mothered was in this and that one... If I hadn't played that sooner, that would have been the game from this uh, demo disc. That would have been the game. Uh, because that one, I loved that one when I played it on my own. But yeah, that one's not. Uh, I've already done it. I've already played that one, so I didn't have to. Uh, anyways, chat, thanks for coming on by and watching. I appreciate it. Uh, sorry if I'm a little low energy. I'm still sleepy. I don't know why I haven't gained any sleep. I need to like, I need to like go to sleep early. I got so much stuff going on. Uh, but yeah, uh, me and Dave will be doing stuff tomorrow. Uh, I'm not un entirely sure what we're doing. Uh, that fishing game ended up sucking eggs, so we're not doing that one. Uh, we're probably gonna do uh, play up uh, for at least part of the stream tomorrow because I think both of us want to play like something overcooked style. So we might do that played up game. Uh, that's apparently really good. Uh, so that could be a fun, really cursed fucking time. So, uh, I've never played it. Dave and I both looked at it and we were like, yeah, this looks fun. So I might do played up and another game called, uh, One Armed Cook, which I haven't shown him yet. But I know he's going to want to play it. So, uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be tomorrow. I'm going to start sending you guys over to Brett because I will be, uh, on D and D with him in an hour. Uh, so, uh, if you don't want to watch, uh, all of whatever he's doing right now, which is probably like a mix of pre-show and wrapping up uh, Dead Beats. Come back to this link in an hour uh, over at Brett's channel because we'll be doing D&D. We're continuing Pipe Dreamers. It's one of my uh, things I look forward to literally every single week. Um, so come on over for that. If you gifted subs and donated today, I appreciate it. As always, we have a bunch of people gifting subs again. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Tomorrow will be the long stream or a longer stream. It's going to be a longer stream. Me and Dave stream, so keep an eye out for that. We're just doing a little switch up of the days. So, yeah, I will see you all then tomorrow at 3 p.m. ish EST. Thanks for coming on by. See ya.